Anyway, they have Gary Coleman on. We had Gary Coleman on. We could have we could have had him lose his fucking mind. It was very easy. Oh yeah. It was very He's up, not Patrice? a Patrice O'Neill. Patrice. You all right? What's up, man? Oh, and I'm just I just didn't want to interrupt interrupt. That's all right. <laughs> You're interrupting. Sit down. I'm talking about Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman. I wanted to hear this. Yeah. Gary Coleman apparently being taunted uh, by one of these goddamn entertainment shows, and then when he freaks out, they're like, "Oh, Gary Coleman's freaking out," <laughs> and then they and they now they're the, poking him with a stick. They were poking him until he freaked out. We've had him on the show, and Gary Coleman, you could you could get him yelling and screaming very easily. We knew it, yeah, but we did, we didn't feel like going down that road. We wanted to get to know <laughs> Gary a little bit, and then this motherfucker laid out all of his issues. Oh yeah, which makes oh, you sad. You've, you've seen the video? No, I was listening to him just say he's just you heard she is hand. Oh, like, I know. He looks like, like, like any black web web yeah. thing, like any black internet uh, thing. Yeah. It, it, they all they just show pictures of his hands it's just off, his hands should be cut off holding cigarettes on someone's like <laughs> ivory table it just wow. looks like a turtle it's stomach just, yeah he looks like <laughs> the poor gary's it's, he's just dying it and it's just so sad it's a slow death hey, oh. that guy's just rotting it, it, away he's withering we, we have to go backwards for one second because you said that nurse with the flicking of the heart on gets rid of the heart on and I don't know why we didn't think of this, but Chris in the Pocono certainly is there to help us out. What's up, Chris? Uh, by the way, are you in one of those giant champagne glass uh, bathtubs? <laughs> yes, and it still just comes. <laughs> every, are, you, every are you going time. horseback riding with your lover later what this afternoon doing? in the snow? <laughs> Doubles tennis with a couple from Wisconsin? No, nah, I'm just working on some night vision goggles at work. But oh, anyways, nice. Send me um, some. Eat those yeah, for the well, invasion. Well, we, need to do, we need to do some uh, Mythbusters with this. And uh, test on Bobo tomorrow. Hey, uh, Danny, you up for some Mythbusters tomorrow? <laughs> Bobo comes in every Friday, and he tweets. He's like, I'll be on Opie and Anthony Friday. And I'm reading his Twitter going, really? I will be Who's on the show. Really? You, I guess you decide when I've you're on the show booked, now. I've booked myself. <laughs> <laughs> he has a gig. I've booked <laughs> right. myself. Okay. He just tells everyone he's going to be on our show every Friday. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, you, guys right. should, you guys should hear his voicemail, uh, his outgoing uh, voicemail message. When, you, when, when, he, when he doesn't pick up, he goes, Hello, this is Daniel Bobo Curlin from the Opie and Anthony <laughs> show <laughs> on Sirius 197 XM 202. <laughs> like, he goes into the whole, the whole thing. thing. Leave a message. And if you're a lady, please leave your number so I could get back to you and have yeah. some sexual by intercourse. By the way, by the way, by the way, I so, have a by the way. So tomorrow, Bobo comes in. Did Chris say what he wanted to do? You hung up? Uh, yeah. Do you know what Chris was suggesting? He said Bobo should, okay. should test it out on Bobo. So Bobo likes to get hard ons. So we'll fucking have someone flick his goddamn heart on to see if it goes down like this nurse says. That's what some nurse said. And what, right under the head? Are you kidding me? What? Why is he here? Just uh, for the thing. Oh, for the thing. Oh, the, the thing. thing. Oh, for yeah. the thing. We should tell everybody. But we have to talk about Gary Coleman. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And Patrice is here. We'll talk about We're going to have to take a break because the, the Coleman thing's going to take at least a half hour. Yeah, we'll talk I'm about it. I'm so into listening to this. Yeah, thing. no I problem. Know. I want to hear but How about we do this? Him. Get Sam in here. We are doing our own version of We Are the World yep. today. Featuring all the. all the. Uh, I people? mean, Howard calls them the whack pack, so we can't call them that. But there are people from the show uh, that have been on the show or involved with the show, past, present. Uh, all these people, all the some things. people you may have forgotten about, um, characters that p certain people do on the show, yeah. uh, will all be singing "We Are the World." Before we give the lineup, though, Patrice, have you have you heard the 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 recent version of "We Are the World"? Yeah, and do you like it? And uh, be I, honest, I don't need to like it because there was a first one. That but all right <laughs> didn't even write their own fucking music and yeah. the first one was for Africa yeah yeah, yeah. hold on but yeah. let's start with that when the first one we're old enough to remember when that first fucking We Are the World came out it, look was it was it something we would dig no but that song was fucking huge and it was everywhere it was played right? on radio everywhere, everywhere. it was iconic as far as, as, far as dial it but, was on somewhere but besides yeah. what it represented as far as a pop song went it did very well on its own here's how big it is. Kevin Meany still closes with it <laughs> and gets a standing ovation. How about, how about right. this? Kevin Meany, <laughs> yeah. now fucking now he looks like he's a current comic because you know he's going to be doing it now. He closes with that constantly. Oh, yeah. damn. He puts on a Bruce Springsteen face. And oh, I've seen him do it. Ten, yeah. ten, 
<sighs> 14 years ago, and it got a standing ovation, and it was old then. And yes, he and he still, still does it. it. And now with the new We Are the World, now it makes his <laughs> fucking bit current. current. But uh, the new version, do you like it? Yeah or no? no. <laughs> yeah it's, or no? It's 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 a it's a it's a hard yes or no. Obi, it's it's a context. Because people beat me up because like you just don't know black music. Okay, I'm willing to accept that. <laughs> it's a that. context. Man. I'm willing to ac accept that I don't know black music. They're like fucking get with the times, man. Rap music is here to stay. I don't mind some rap oh, songs. It's the rap I just, part. What? It's the rap part. No, nah, I think the song's all over the goddamn place. It starts off like the original, then it's all of a sudden, all of a sudden there's auto-tuning, there's screaming, there's rapping. I don't know what the fuck's going and on you, in this song. I'm going to tell you something else. You, the feeling, I'm going to tell you what the feeling is. The We Are The World original was almost, you go, this is real. It's yeah, almost yeah. like that uh, Feed The World, It's Christmas Time yeah, song. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just kind of go, bing. Even though it's kind of <laughs> like douchey when you watch it, but you go, I'm in that. That's for yeah, real. They're, you know, this one is too, too forced. It's a, throw, it's a forced kind of thrown together kind of we got to do it, and and you feel that there's no us in this video. It's all individual. The first video is like a bunch of celebrities that put aside their horse shit <laughs> to do this for the hungry African little nigglets in Africa. <laughs> then, exactly. Then, this one is like, oh, it's Pink by herself. Then it's Celine Dion. It's almost like they negotiated in their contract. I get my own yeah, personal my own side solo. show, solo, thingamajiggy. I bet you're right. It's just I bet you're not right. right. Instead of Somehow. Instead of the original came together, I, th I know what you're saying, very organically. People like, you know, we got to do something for Africa. Fuck our agents. Fuck this and that. We're just going to do this. And were, you're I, right. And I bet you there was a lot of negotiating going and on. And they were iconic. It's the same thing that yep. uh, the first one was all icons. This one is just like the dream team. I go. We talking about mm -hmm. the Olympics. Mm -hmm. The original dream team. Mm -hmm. You go. That is a dream. Magic mm -hmm. Bird yeah, yeah, Jordan, yeah. all together. Mm -hmm. Then it's like then you don't call a... it Dream Team Four. I'm not dreaming about Kevin Garnett no. <laughs> and right. Sam Bowie on the same team as a team. It's like don't don't do that. So this this is it's not iconic. It's no. Pink is not iconic. No, no. And I I said to Anthony, right. why not bring back a lot of the fucking people that did it originally are still around, but I guess their popularity is not big enough. They're old. They're and they're yeah. not popular anymore. But I think that would have been kind of cool to see some of the 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 original people come Ready? back to do it. Dead Michael Jackson's in it. That's why it's bullshit. <laughs> <That's horseshit>. it. <laughs> it's true. That's it. Not living Elton John. That's no. it. Or not even Quincy Jones. Kind of. I did the first one. Remember, With I was his crooked glasses. I was and the guy. Mm, I created this he was thing. The guy that said, "Check your ego at the door." Mm -hmm. Check your ego at the door. And you felt people. that. You felt in the first one. It was every. You yeah. didn't notice anybody. You go. The first one was. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd. Well, well, Willie Cindy Nelson. Lover. This one is Willie Celine Nelson Dion singing along yeah. with Steve well, Perry well, from well, Journey. Well, well, well. Oh. <laughs> so dumb. And you and you can't really trash it because it's for what it's for. Yeah. But yeah. it it it's just it was it's yeah. like it's it, gonna. It says a lot where fucking entertainment is and pop culture and all that bullshit. It really does. Little Wayne. They were two days of choice and Megan Baby. Really? With the auto tune. You know, I, I think they could have mixed the old with the new. That you bring back the originals, and but you also have the big stars in there to keep everyone okay. Whatever. Oh, that. In the end, who gives oh, a shit? Oh, that's but, a but, old picture of all the old people. That Willie Nelson and and fucking well, Kenny yeah. Rogers is and in a, there. There's a little love in the Steve room. Steve Perry from Journey and yeah, and, and, and Diana Ross. I Diana see, Ross I being see Paul hugged. Simon, Cindy yeah. Tina Turner, said, and Tina like Turner. and let me tell you, fucking, you see this picture, right? Yeah. Why it's natural? I bet you, if you get you get the picture of the new one, very strategically, like. Look at Paul Simon in a shitty left-hand corner. Yeah. Tina Turner, when she was huge, shitty little left-hand corner. Yeah, Paul Simon's standing with, like, Ken Carnes. Yeah. Like, bullshit-ass <laughs> Lionel Richie is in the middle. And then bullshit-ass, I mean, I'm just not saying bullshit-ass, but for this shot, James Ingram right. has a prime spot right behind <laughs> Quincy Jones. And yeah, why, yeah. Why I mean, that's they... prime spot. That's prime real estate in the picture right there. And why would they uh, they put uh, Boy Gary right in the middle like that? That's no, kind of no, weird. That's, uh, oh, that's Hall really Oates. That's, what? That's from Hall and Oates. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's John oh. Oates. 
Oh. It's it's this <laughs> way. Harry Belafonte yeah. is yeah. in the goddamn nosebleeds. <laughs> yeah. That's how you know this is real. They just got to. They didn't. They just, a, we're gonna take yeah, a picture. Gather up and we'll yeah. take a picture. You're right. You're so right, Patrice. You're fucking w right. Watch the new one. Shit. I guarantee the new one's like. Excuse me. This is my spot. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Please. Uh. I got to be in front. It's in my contract. It's in my contract. And someone's mm. bitching that 90% of the video is black singers. Well, I'm looking at the original picture. There's a lot of black people in the original, too, man. Who, cares? Who gives yeah. a shit? Yeah. Anyway, what it leads to is this. <laughs> a lot of black singers. What the? Well, that, you know, we got a racist show here. I mean, people have to fight for their race <laughs> at, at all turns. It's just shit. <laughs> I remember last time I was there, a girl called and cursed me the fuck out. You said... I heard you drive. I was laughing so hard. Look at this. All right. Look at the Norwegians uh, without their mixed race yeah. long pussies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy goes, 90% of the video is black singer. So Danny, quickly, thank God Danny's back on the uh, the internet thing, yeah. by the way. High yeah. definition. Uh, he, he's got just a random <sighs> shot of some of the singers. Count black versus white. It's almost even. So what are you talking about? We got about? Celine Dion. Count We're the whiteies first. In a got, good position. You got Vince Vaughn. You got Harry Connick Jr. That little girl that starts the song. Matter of fact, hold on. What's Justin What's her Bieber? Name? He's a boy. Two, three, Justine four, what? One, two, Justin three, four, Bieber. Four, five, six, Justin Bieber? Seven, eight, He's a boy. Nine, I, see oh, ten, I thought it was a girl. Oh, wait. Boy. Ten four, whites and one five, questionable. Oh. One, two. I'll it's get, six I'm, and sixteen. It's six and nine. I'm going to go with that. One looks like could be white or black. I'm going to give it to the black side. So you got one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven blacks, ten whites is what I count. So what are you talking about? Damn. And, and that's just a random shot of this a, Justin a random Bieber? group shot. Yeah. There was no Justin Bieber's in the first one. No. no. <laughs> There was no whoever Justin well, Bieber was then. Whoever, Maybe been, Rick Ashley. Who was Rick <laughs> no, it would have been like <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany. It would have been like a Tiffany. There's nobody. Because I think Justin Bieber is one of those mall singers, start out as yeah. a mall singer. So oh. you go with a the, Tiffany problem. The girl that's saying, let the music play, she ain't in the first one. No. She's there not there. There shouldn't be a Justin Bieber who is going to be like gone in no time. Everybody was Look kung fu Justin fighting Bieber. guy wasn't in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Justin Bieber is throwing down a gang sign He's with just... his hat backwards. Oh. Uh, in this picture I'm looking at, I want to throw him off the building he's on. He's, he's on top peace. of a building. No, he's fucking trying to look badass. Oh, the kid looks like he's every uh. priest's fucking dream. Stop trying to look tough. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, anyway. Justin Bieber. It leads to this. We're doing our own oh, version man. today. Actually, the recording session's about to begin, right? Yeah, it's about to. Well, as soon as we're done yeah. in here. We're doing the. Uh, we're doing our own version of We Are the World. It's going to take a while because uh, Jimmy's in San Francisco. He's going to be uh, doing his parts. All the characters you know and sort of love on this show. I say sort of because then there's, character, there's people that. Sure. Like a Bobo. Some Bobo like will him, be some hate him. Bobo's going to be in it. Mustard's going to be in it. Uh, this is a, Jimmy's character is going to be in it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, who else? Stalker Patty. Stalker uh, Patty. Big A. Pat from Munaki. Big A. Pat from Munaki. Fake okay. Steve C. The virus. <laughs> Fake Steve C. All doing yes. everyone. All doing our version of We Are the World. You're going to film it a little bit, so we got. I'll some... film it. There'll be some surprises. Yes. That really. I won't reveal just yet. One particularly in mind that I won't reveal. We tried to reach out to get Ian Halperin to do a sax solo. But he's living out of suitcase. He doesn't have his saxophone. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got Ian today, too, don't that, we? That, going. by the way, is such bullshit. <laughs> yes, I, love he's lying. I fucking he, love Ian. He <laughs> fucking play a saxophone out of his asshole. <laughs> let's let's talk about the sax with him again. Yeah, I'm, yeah, not no, 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 I'm the best. I'm the greatest musician in the world. I, I've, <laughs> I've toured all over the world. <laughs> Shut yeah. up. And Sam, you and your Give dumb it. surprises, that means uh, intern Dave is coming back. No, no, no. Every time you say there's a surprise, <laughs> it's intern David. <laughs> it's intern okay. David. I will say I have reached out to intern David, and he looks like he will be a part of it, but I also have another surprise. This has to be videotaped very well. It's the only way I know how to do it. Sweeping camera uh, uh, motion. I want. I want that. I want a lot of coverage. We might need a couple of cameras on this one. Yeah, I want. I want raw footage for the YouTube channel. Yes. The only thing we're worried about is uh, the gay fake <laughs> Steve C voice. Yeah. Yes. We'll have to somehow grab Anthony before he gets to his car. I don't know if we're going to be able. <laughs> wow. To. wow. Good that luck, might be motherfucker. Tough. Like, <laughs> I, like I said yesterday, my on star, great reception. I could sing from the expressway. That's true. In my car. <laughs> 
in between yelling out racial epithets to people that are in the left lane. <laughs> Mr. Iraq e. Nagel may have more than one part oh. in this song. Wow, the talented Iraq e. Nagel. All right. All right. This so, is going to be a huge, huge when, when, epic. When will the listeners be able to hear our version of We Are the World? It's going to take a while. Maybe uh, this time next week, hopefully. My goal is to have a finished product by Wednesday. If I do not, nice. I'll at least have a taste. Because I'm, is I'm Troy going, Kwan on this project? He's. I'm creative supervisor. He's technical supervisor. What does that even mean? I don't know. Creative director, technical director. That's just just glory. Yeah. Just glory that don't matter. All right, we're going to take a break. <laughs> so, so the We Are the World recording is uh, starting now in the fishbowl. I Give don't know. If, a... Hopefully we'll get mustard because somebody might be the one to start the song, I think. Mustard might start the song? I think he should. Really? Mm -hmm. He well, is that would the actually Justin, be legit. He's the Justin Bieber of our generation. All right, good. Give us an update after the break. Uh, Patrice O'Neill is here. We're going to do the Gary Coleman audio from The Insider. God, I want to hear. That is all over the place because The Insider poked fucking Gary Coleman with, with hot pokers until Gary Rotten finally him until had he it. bit someone's face off. Exactly. We'll get into that next. Stay there. Every day when we go back on the air, and it's too too little to put down, but, you know, still too much because now i got to eat. Now, we're going to do the Gary Coleman thing, but... Patrice O'Neill's in studio. Mm. Patrice, I know this is hard for you, but can we make some of these things quick? Well, you got like two really good things I want to talk about, but we have so much to do today, so we got to kind of like edit ourselves. I can't promise you anything. I know that. <laughs> we'll try to work together, though. I like your new fucking thing you're doing with Twitter. And also, we just discussed the old guy beating up uh, that black kid on the bus. So I need your thoughts on uh, both those things. Real I, fast. I find first of all, which uh, one you want to go with? We'll go with uh, Block Mondays on Twitter. All right, yep. Patrice has officially started Block Mondays. A lot of people, if you're in the Twitter world, you know about Follow Friday, which I think is a complete waste of time. I don't check my Twitter on Fridays because every fucking update is so many. someone just listing all the people they're now following. Yeah, who cares? Just follow the people. Who mm. cares? And if someone gives me a really good tweet, I give them credit, and then maybe that leads to people following that dude. So, it, it, you know what I mean? It's it's, it's just, a waste. It's just, Fridays are a waste for Twitter with this Follow Friday. It, it's but, just Block Mondays is basically, I get a, I, I get a lot of, I answer a lot of tweets. When I'm on it, I'll answer you if it's if it's answerable, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, some guys, you know, I, we're, we're from a mean world. If you follow this world, it's a mean world. <laughs> but a lot of people don't understand how to be mean and funny. They they just go okay. They're just mean. So they mm. like that little girl should die. No 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 no. We there's a charm to anger. Yeah, there's a charm mm. to say that. There's a there's a <laughs> there's a way to say that. <laughs> there's, there's a certain style you have to have to fucking be funny and foul. Did you hear earlier? I was discussing a tweet I got yesterday because I had posted a picture of myself in my house, and uh, it showed a couple of the columns yes. in my house, and the guy that said you wops. And your columns, you're not supporting an aqueduct upstairs. That's fucking funny. Charming and mean. Charming, mean. I appreciated it. I got a laugh out of it. I thought it was funny. He goes, what is that? Uh, wop bling? It's just... Like, that's funny. M mean, charming. Yes. Dia Tweeties? Funny. To my <laughs> said, <laughs> Dia Tweeties. I had Dia Tweeties. I read that, that one. Is Who funny. came up with that? Was that I, I don't remember, was but it's, Kevin? A, it's an all-timer. Dia Tweeties. But, but <laughs> I, I get Kevin. some good ones. But then you get some that you go, I'm not sure if he's being a little douche. Yeah, douchey. Because the picture, see, I like any, like when I think of truckers, mm -hmm. old, old truckers, always pretty funny. Even if they're racist, yeah, always yeah. pretty funny. But young slacker douchebags where I picture... Just them gonna be smarmy, but he's just like you can just picture a dirty bum. Uh, yeah. But but I I looked at it. He's somebody just said something really foul, but I didn't know if he was just trying to be O and A funny and mean. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he I looked at his account. He had two followers, and I said I'm answering this guy. Do you know how special I am in his life? <laughs> he's, he's got two followers. He's following a hundred and a hundred and sixty, and two are following him, and he's like reaching out to me mm -hmm. so i said you know what block mondays block and i made some Monday. rules one of the rules is if i i'm and it doesn't even have to be fucking tweets to me it has to be fucking tweets wow Sorry. like everything <laughs> it has any tweets when i look at them if they're not good tweets out in general 
Blocked. Blocked. Fucking blocked. I'm I'm being really fucking wow. brutal with blocking. Every Monday somebody's getting blocked. Well, good. I like that because, yeah, follow Friday. What a pain in the ass that is. Stupid. Charming. Well, so it's charming plus hatred can stay. Can stay. Nice. Also, yeah. uh, it, the fo a lot of people got nervous because they only have one follower. <laughs> I'd said that the followers don't matter. If you're just a guy in the cut enjoying Twitter... But it's basically big mouth fucking douches. But if you're yeah, just saying shit, you got two followers <laughs> and you're a douchey asshole. You're so gone. You're out of here. Now, if you got like ten thousand followers and you're you're douchey asshole, do you get blocked? You're gone. All right. All right. I don't give a do. fuck just about. I don't care and about and your followers. And bye. And it doesn't matter how many followers you got, because if you come up with something really good, if it gets retweeted, then yeah. then you get a ton of people looking exactly. at your shit. I, I'm. I am. Fucking, I like block money. I want to know the it's, rules. You. You just. It's just. I'm. I'm still making them up because some like people them. just have to go. Yeah. Yeah. Then Somebody wait. Was, yeah, I don't understand like, the guys that uh, follow you. I called one guy out, and of course he doesn't write me back. Uh, I don't understand the people that that follow you just to hate you. I'm like, they, it's you, like, it's, why would you do that? I, I'm not stupid. I know people don't. There's people that don't like me. Don't say what nothing. is wrong with what is wrong with your world that you have to go out of your way to follow me just to hate. So I asked this one guy. It's uh, and he's a Ron and Fez fan. I go, dude. You said you you don't like me. I, I you know. So why are you following me? Simple question. He never gets back to me, because <clears throat> it's like you're fucking lame that you don't even fucking you know answer the question I I, I I gave you. And and here's the excuse a lot of them use. Like they go, oh, you'd say all the shit and then uh, I can't say nothing to you. It, no, it, it's it. There's a charm to it. I I I'm 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 the police of that. You just know the difference between what we say. Yeah. Look at interracial. Hanging mixed race labias. <laughs> it's just funny. It's not. It's something there. Exactly. <laughs> you, you stay, um, but just some guy got mad because I said soccer stinks. Because yeah. I was talking about how the All Star game was a I little wet. Yep. And then soccer stinks, and this guy's just like you, cunt. You ignorant cunt. You shit dick. And it's like really. Well, because I said soccer stinks. Really? Is that it? it, it but that's so personal. Yeah. And any guy that doesn't like me, like emotionally, goes. <laughs> goes. Any girl that hates me emotionally, she can stay because that yeah. adds to that's something. That's just gonna but be dudes. Oof, g gone. So there's still rules are still being developed. Right. But block Mondays, boy. And I and I'm like, you can't escape by not fucking twitting me. I'm looking at my followers. And seeing what your fucking value is, <laughs> <laughs> I love it on Twitter. There you I'm, go. All right, Block Mondays is officially happening. Yep, it's gonna take over the Twitter world too. Block Mondays. You watch, and it started with Patrice O'Neill. It started with Big Mama Prods. Big Mama Prods. Big Mama yeah, Prods. Block has Mondays. officially started Block Monday. So all these guys with two million followers, we, yeah, you you want to mm -hmm. be a part of something. Gonna, yeah. yeah, it's over. You're out of the club. Do you get <laughs> walking around with your two followers calling me a douche? Do you get jealous <laughs> when you see some of these people that have like over a million followers and they're saying nothing? What is that about? Just because they're famous? They're famous, yeah. but they have nothing to offer. They're famous. That's all. They're famous. That's all it takes. That bothers the shit out. of Some guy of me. called me a C-list celebrity. I got mad, but then I go, "That's pretty funny." <laughs> <laughs> you can stay. You can stay. Call me a C-list celebrity. At least, you're, douche. at least you're a C. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even get a passing grade. <laughs> it really is all in how uh, how they bash you. Like I don't care being bashed. I, w I wouldn't block everybody that bashes me. But yeah, there's got to be some type of humor to it, truth to it, just something. Something. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's something that makes me go like, oh well, look at that. Okay. And I'm the arbitrary commander of it, right? Because look, this is Twitter is the most that I've ever been accessible mm -hmm. on the web. Oh my God, same with me. The Same most I've never stuck name. with anything like I've stuck with right. fucking Twitter ever. And people took for granted the fact that they can access you and they'll always be able to. No. I'll block you, motherfucker. Yeah, I'll block me, bitch. If it gets too fucking, <laughs> yeah. I'll fucking disappear. <laughs> there's message boards that you can't control and all that. But this, I mean, I want to keep the Twitter and I got the YouTube channel. I want to just keep it fun. Because mm. there's enough of that bullshit everywhere else. Yeah. It's there already. I'm not trying to block it. 
completely out of my life, but with Twitter and YouTube, I'm just trying to keep it fucking fun, and we try to try to turn each other on to some good links, some good funny lines. We're watching the Olympics. What do you got on the Olympics? I got this. Maybe it's a joke that bombs. That's okay. There's a lot of but we're just funny trying to keep motherfuckers out there, too. Oh, my God, they're great. <clears throat> funny guys is out. Funny but, people are out there, man. But I'm just trying to have fun. That's it. <laughs> and I don't and, need critiques uh, of 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 myself or the show. We know. I know when I suck. I know when the show sucks. You don't have to tell me. Here's who you I know. But with the Twitter thing, it's like let's just fucking try to have some fun. Here's who time. I do not like. It's just like when I posted, "Hey man, I think uh, I think uh, uh, you know Avatar, Avatar mm -hmm. is is I think it was a good ass movie." Uh, it's just dances with wolves. Look at, look at <laughs> fucking Captain Blog and Captain, <laughs> <laughs> Captain Inner Sanctum. Like, fuck off. Like, let's talk about if the movie was good or not. Let's not talk about it. it's just a uh, boo. And it's not like if if you go, man, this motherfucker Elvis stole from Big Mama Thornton, and it's just a debatable. Yeah, it's yeah. just like it's a dismissive. I figured it out. Like, really? Did you? Mm -hmm. How about this? Three followers, you're gone. <laughs> You're fucking gone. I I I, I, uh, I just want that to be. I, I, that's it. That's, wait, that's Patrice, it. is it Black Monday or Block Monday? Because Stu's -O -C -K. very confused. Oh, it's Black Monday. Now that's funny. Oh, Block. Okay. That's funny. Well, Stu gets credit. Is it Black? See, it's it just <laughs> just a throwaway. You know what? I'm starting Black Monday. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's just there you go. We you, we have to start cleaning up Twitter. You just can't be out there. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and, and, and you know what? I'm gonna start Black Monday. Every Monday, I'm gonna start following. Uh, a, a new black guy. A black guy. I'm gonna lead him to. That's I'm gonna add him to my list. That's, that's what I do. Hilarious. That's what I do because I think we need but a little more color on the show. How you gonna know who's black and who's not, though? I'll figure it out. <laughs> Just look at some past tweets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't hide your past tweets. A couple with a hey, motherfucker. Anything with motherfucker in it yeah. is a <laughs> yeah, yeah, motherfucker. You better start speaking ebonics if you want me following you on Black Monday, motherfuckers. Ah, I'm, Black I'm Monday. doing Black Monday. Black Monday. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I can add more than one. I don't know. I'll 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 add at least one every Monday. One. Uh, you One know, undesirable every Monday. If you add a, <laughs> Twitter pop property value. Oh, <laughs> if you add a black guy that doesn't listen to the show, oh, and then he gets now, at, people are now going to follow him yeah. follow from him. this fucking yeah. show. Yeah. We're going to have access to some uh, black guy who's, who doesn't have <laughs> these fucking animals. Who just doesn't just. want it, doesn't need it, doesn't know where it's coming from. <laughs> fucking pieces of shit. Oh, uh, uh, all right. I want Patrice to meet Johnny Weir later. You, you could dissect this uh, this kid, this intern of ours. He, he's going to walk down over here. Look, it's take the one with the tight pants? Right there, that's Johnny Weir. He, he looks just like Johnny Weir. Is Johnny Weir a sissy? Oh, my God. Well, this guy, we're going to get into it later. We're starting too many things, but uh, remind me, we got we got to get Patrice's take on our Johnny Weir intern. He's got a weird story. Oh, man. And he swears he's not gay. Oh, okay, well, wait till you hear the circumstances. I just want guys to pick this up. Yeah, I just saw on CNN here. Yeah, they had the nine one one call Ooh. from somebody that had a stuck accelerator <laughs> on a Toyota. <clears throat> they had time to call fucking nine one one to ask what to do. They said the freeway is ending soon. They're coming toward an intersection. Pray, pray. This is saying pray. They're like freaking out. Wow. Turn your fucking car off. I Put it in neutral. Do something. Is that all you have to you do? You just Ant? sit there and fucking yeah, and, and just accelerate. Is the brake the brake doesn't work if you're doing that? Look, let me tell you something. No, no, they they jam on the brake and it just doesn't fucking. So you just go too to much park? power. How do you not die? You fucking put it in neutral. Shut your fucking engine off. And that'll take care of the problem, man? Yes. I always wondered about that. Then you that. fuck it. It's called not panicking. Wait, and, but you can't just... turn your key while the... You Ooh, can't it... turn your key while the accelerator... Accelerator kind of stops uh, a lot of shit from when happening. When it's in neutral? When it's in neutral? You, you do it in you neutral. Do or you could put it in neutral. Well, why not put it in park them, and just let that right? fucker stop? God. I don't think you could jam it in park while that fucking engine... Is Toyota even out of business behind this shit? They have to shut Toyota down a couple of plants. Yes. And they're stuff. in deep they shit. They got a new yeah. steering wheel problem, too, man. They're in deep shit. Hey, Footer is going to help me out with this Black Monday thing. Go ahead, Footer. Yeah, Patrice, Patrice yeah, has it's... Black Monday. I'm going to start Black Monday. Although the Black Monday is going to be very, very good, and it's going to take over the world. Mine's just a silly dumb bit that'll last two weeks. Go ahead, Footer. Yeah, great idea with that. Um, just a little tip so you can know if they're black guys. 
Uh, most of the tweets are done during like normal business working hours. <laughs> oh, here he goes. <laughs> what a douche. <laughs> here he goes. All right. All right. What a douche. Like 11 a.m. <laughs> like at 3 p.m. His tweets. Uh, I'm watching. I'm watching Maury. He's where you should be at work. What an asshole. What if he's a cop? You piece of shit. You fucking yeah, come on, that's asshole. Funny. I know. That's what I'm saying. He stays. He Even stays. though he's a douche, he stays. He fucking stays. That's fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love the guys that are blocking Twitter, and then they start a new account to explain what they were really trying to say, and then I go, Look, oh, yeah. all right, so, okay. And then, well, my, you know, my real Twitter account is this. Could you unblock me? I'm like, all right. We had a little discussion about it. It's just hard to figure out because what we do on, th like, this show, Jimmy, me, or Nick come through, you, yeah. Op everybody's kind of... Fucking angry, obnoxious, so and you, angry. You, had, you <laughs> added me on the end of that because you felt like not. You didn't want to leave me out. See, that's how said, awful this show is. When you said "op," it was yeah, that's how awful this show. Even yeah. actual, a true, <laughs> true feelings are questioned on it right? all the time. <laughs> actual, an actual thing I that it. I did. I heard it, yeah. but it's not true. You added me on What's at the this? end because you're like, you know what? I don't feel like hurting his feelings. You see the, the mental <laughs> pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Always. This show is just not a comfortable show. No, that's why we can't take not. the. That's why we can't take the hate out there. If you want to know the truth, there's pressure every fucking it's day in here. It's just a pressure show. <laughs> it's horrid. It's so unbelievable. You can't go. Oh yeah, Mew and Opie. Oh yeah, yeah. Nah, Mew. there wasn't. There was an energy behind Opie. Oh, and and you. Like, oh, I, if I'd have said, oh yeah, and this guy over there, <laughs> <laughs> you might as well have. You might as well have. What the fuck? Is you might as well have. It's awful. <laughs> awful. All right, listen. Oh, God. So that's uh, Black Monday that Big Mama Prods has started. I think ev I encourage everyone to do that. Start blocking people. They and Everyone doesn't deserve access to everybody just because they belong to Twitter. Right. That's it. Start, yeah. start fucking thinning the herd. Yeah, because uh, that's going to sound stupid, but I, I just like the fact that we're keeping it fun. True that. Yeah. I kind of like that. But you want a little, I, I you want want a little anger I'll to keep your edge a little oh, bit. Yeah, you know, yeah. Just to keep your yeah. oh, your worldly edge. Anger when it's justified <laughs> and all that. Of course. Right. Of course. But in, in general, ah, whatever. And, they get, and like I said, I, I re being redundant about this, but I'm just, this is to people listening to mm -hmm. give them a chance because Monday's coming up. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's some people do not understand how to be mean. Yeah, they it's don't just... Get, yeah. Hey. It's a, it's a, an, a, it's an art form to be yeah, mean yeah. and funny. It's some, just is. some people just don't have it. Hey, Anthony, get back to the Toyota thing, which is uh, more important because now everyone is calling. Yeah, oh, man. isn't it true though? Uh, if you turn the key off, it locks the steering wheel. It, it, I had you a could you could turn the key off. I remember that that would lock the steering wheel. I remember that shit. Look, you could turn the key off right uh, without locking the wheel. You know how you got to go, boom, and then there's another click behind and mm -hmm. stuff? You could click. <clears throat> if it's off and then back on again, you you now have steering and you haven't started the engine. So the engine's dead. Okay, if I'm in my parking lot, so right? you got to know what you're doing, though, because a lot of people yeah, well, will turn off the fucking... Don't fucking panic. Wait, you should know your car. If I'm in my parking lot, you're this, this, the worst you're flying down a highway, you're going to panic. Line. If I'm in my... Like, if I experiment with this yeah. in a field or something, I'm yeah, in my go truck. To a parking lot. I'm in my truck. Yeah. I put my brake on. I put the brake on, turn the car on. Yeah. Okay? I, I take my foot off of the fucking brake. Yeah. Can I even turn? If now the, the, my car is in drive, yeah. can I turn my key and turn the car off and the car be in drive? You should absolutely be able to turn your fucking car yeah. off. You should be able to turn your key, turn the car off, and then click it back so you have steering control. Oh, oh! You could definitely turn your car off and drive. It's, it, it won't start and drive because I've done that. Yeah. Like you know, you just you're not thinking. You just turn the car off when you're getting gas or something, like, and you go to start the it car. Goes, ah, no, not even something. because the the car will not will not even crank unless you have it in in, in park, park, and park. But you could definitely turn it off and drive. And drive, absolutely. Right, no. So when you if you're in drive, if you're on the highway, fucking, oh my god, I can't the brake. Yeah. I turn my car off, and then what? Turn it off. I would then click pull the, it. Pull the e-brake. Then click it one forward so the goddamn steering works. 
and you want to power steering or power brakes, yeah, but put some elbow now, grease you, in now, there. now you just fucking break it and you pull over to the side of the you fucking road the and driver. you go, wow, Toyota really fucked me. You don't sit there accelerating down a highway <laughs> calling <laughs> 911. God. You figure oh out God. how your fucking machine works. You're in a machine. Dude, you're this nuts. Is what people, no, this is what pisses me but off. But you are nuts. No, I'm not. You you understand the, how to handle it. And, That's and, what pisses and, me off about people. Say, a small percentage of people understand and would do exactly what you're saying, but most of these dummies out there would go into panic mode and fucking not, call 911. I am not saying you have to know every in and out of your motor vehicle, but let me tell you something. Too many people take for granted that they are in a machine that weighs tons hurtling down the fucking highway with no concept whatsoever of how it works, how to handle an emergency in it, they're just, I hold the wheel, I push the pedals, I go point A, point B. I, I must say, though, that's very survivalist just information of you. Mm -hmm. Like, don't call 911. Try mm -hmm. something. I see what you're saying. That's a good point. Try, try something. Try, you know to, try to live. <laughs> you started your car. Put it this way. You try start your car every day, right. and you shut it off after you're done driving. How about if the gas pedal is stuck, you try shutting it off. You know the key shuts it off. You gotta know that, dude. That is panic. You're going to panic one, mode. One one oh one, though, man. That is panic. <laughs> the car's just taking off. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know, you got to start thinking. How about panic versus survival? Dude, think th instinct. Th think video games. You got a mission. There's like 30 seconds left, and all of a sudden you go into panic, and you're like, I know I could do this, but then all of a sudden something happens in your head. And right, you go, your mind, and you got and your mind gets all fucked live. up. It's like, wait. But One I can do this in my sleep usually, but people also in the panic it no kicks enough. in. It's just common sense, really. It is common no, sense. No, I know it's common and sense, like, but most people don't it's have It's the that. off switch. It's the off switch. I mean, here you know, here on the East Coast, it's been snowy and stuff, and my car stinks. It just fucking stinks in the snow. And you know, like the second I hit my brakes, my anti lock brake system kicks but, in, uh, yeah. and I just keep going. And I was like, and I, I almost rear-ended somebody last week, and instead of panicking, I was just like, wait, I want my tires to lock up. I have an emergency brake. I'm going to clutch, and I'm going to e-brake. Yeah. And it was fine. Mm -hmm. have it's, it's like, it's like, it's like <laughs> I had a second to think about it. Uh, 911 emergency, what can we do for you? Yeah, I'm trying to sleep, uh, and, and the lights are on in my house. Uh, how can we help you with that? Yeah, I don't know what I should do. Oh my god, I can't sleep. It's too bright in here. Did you try turning the switch off? Oh, let me try that. <laughs> okay, well. yes. Turning the, the mechanism to the off position has worked. Thank you, Dude, 911. Logically, you make complete sense, but right. you're talking... To Look, we know uh, when you're fishtailing, About right? dummies, right. Yeah. When you're fishtailing... You're supposed to what, you turn, turn into, into a, That's a whole, whole, that's into a whole into another animal, that whole but I'm, but, skid. But your fish or a, you, right. your, the, the mental is you turn towards the, the skid. Your instinct is to go, oh, shit, I'm going left. Go back right. You gotta give that. Wait, 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 of course. Wait, you gotta feather the wheel a little too. You gotta. <laughs> ba, 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 da, da, da. It's like Speedway. Fucking bad, bad, bad. You ever seen? I love just making. Around, I love making donuts. The way? <laughs> Sixty miles an hour. You're doing donuts down the highway. Hey, uh, uh, this, this, uh, this. Uh, and take your foot. Uh, another thing. Yep. Take your foot off the fucking gas for the few seconds when it's icy. When it's icy out. Take your foot off the gas for the few seconds you're going over uh, an overpass. Right. Because that's where all that fucking ice is because the, the, the road now is air conditioned on the bottom from the cold air and the top and bridges will always freeze is that quicker why than those the road. Is fucking bridges freeze? Yeah. Because huh. the, the, the streets are on the fucking... I thought you it was know, just pavement. different material. No, it's just <laughs> you really fucking did. that. So if you're accelerating <laughs> or you're on the gas, you can hit that bridge and now your wheels might start spinning. So, you know what I do? I, I see a bridge coming up. I'm off the fucking accelerator, over the bridge, easy, back on it again. It's like these common sense things of just, you got to know things. Now, this is getting a little more than people should fucking know, I guess, or do know. They should know. It's basic, like, physics. You kind of know, like, acceleration, deceleration, friction, mm. ice, rubber, fucking momentum, inertia, Shit like that when you're in, in your vehicle. In that seven seconds when you get ready to go off a ravine. But you're feeling it. Your body, if you fucking are driving your vehicle like an idiot, and I see them, they drive like the fucking, like the machine knows everything. You're you got to know your vehicle. I uh, Here's another thing, and it's an easy thing. Uh, driving through Manhattan, a lot of double-parked trucks and shit like that. 
I can whiz through a fucking spot because I know my Escalade. I know the parameters of my vehicle. I will sit behind a fucking Prius that can't fit and figure out how to get, uh, uh, am I, am I gonna hit the, and meanwhile I'm in an Escalade going wet right through. But beeping that, at but that's I don't the even slow down. As the Heimlich maneuver, have you ever thought you were getting ready to choke? And you just go, oh no, God, no! You I, know the Heimlich maneuver exists, but if you saw a fucker I choking, you'd be like, please, God, somebody know that this this shit that exists that it exists. You you haven't lived until you I had to do it on yourself. You ever have to do it on yourself? Oh, man. You have to shove your abdomen into a fucking pointy fucking dude corner. That, it, to, to I drive keep, an Escalade because I'm a wop <laughs> to keep your cool. <laughs> Under death situation, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, listen, we got the 911 call. It's tough, but driving and is something people do a lot. Oh, you got it? We got the 911 call, but I do have to say this. Uh, you're wasting your time with logic. I you're understand. You're wasting your time by ranting and raving. I and understand. Telling people what they have to do because yep. there'll always be Asians on the roads. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> there'll Holy always shit. be God, Asians damn. on the roads. So, when so I look, when I so pass the car in the left matter. lane. And look over, <laughs> yeah, and, 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 it, and the person's doing 30, and I have to go around, and there's a, lo a parade behind them. <laughs> I'm just going around, going around. It's an don't, they don't even look at you. <laughs> Enough with your logic. Oh my God. Always it's be the Asians left on the road. Road. And here's a good swear for an Asian fucking driver. You open your window and go, figures! <laughs> That's it. Figures! <laughs> it's figures! You know what that rhymes with? Oh no! Another word that Anthony yells. I do no, no. I don't, usually don't Triggers? yell on the road. Yes, there's exactly. a lot of eggers in your life. Oh, there you go. certainly are. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. I will go. Figures or oh, now it makes sense. <laughs> like shit, like that. Let's get to now. I will one. try to make them look <gasps> or, at me. Or ooga booga booga. I will, <laughs> I, will, I will try to make the Asian drivers look at me to acknowledge that they are fucking they something are up. They are the number one not acknowledging your existence. They will not people ever. acknowledge you. Holy fuck. Let's uh, let's do this. We got the nine one one call that Anthony uh, All right. noticed on the TV. So. Oh man. Nine one one emergency. What are you reporting? Yeah, we're the we're the Lexus. I'm I'm sorry. Your cell phone's cutting out. We're going north one twenty five. Mm-hmm. And our accelerator's stuck. I'm sorry? Our accelerator's stuck. We're on 125 and we're in Okay, northbound 125. Where are you passing? We are passing, uh, where are we passing? We're, we're, we're going 120, Mission Gorge. We're in, we're in trouble. We can't, well, there's no brakes. Okay. And freeway half mile. Okay. All right, hold on, Patricia. Can I doing 120 <laughs> miles an hour. Wait, it, <laughs> why couldn't he transfer some of the calmness in that call? Because yes. he's not going, oh, shit, no. shit, shit. <laughs> He's going, yeah, we're going, we, he's clear enough. Yeah. Why Where not be we, clear George? enough to try to save his own life? Yeah. Some we're, we're doing 120. Oh, um, turn the key off. Hey, shut the engine off. See, the engine is making you go 120. <laughs> if the engine stops, the car will not be doing 120. Sh jump out the car. Tuck and roll, motherfucker. And, and do a Burt Reynolds from Longest Yard if you have to. Get the fuck out. Go in the back seat and just let it happen. Go in the back seat. Holy shit. Wouldn't you at least try to get one jump in if you're going that fast? Oh, you have to. Oh, yeah. Find some kind of man-made fucking ramp Find somewhere. That. Please, God, let there, bonus fuck points. Let there be bonus. a drawbridge yeah, open. Right. Fuck it. Bonus. Just, right, fuck it. <laughs> Just a good old boy. Yeah. <laughs> Never meaning no harm. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your girl to cut her pants into Daisy Dukes. <laughs> Start sucking your dick while I jump this ravine. Oh, shit. Guys Do a Selma and Louise. <laughs> 120 miles per hour. Oh, Did he say he's doing 120 miles per hour? I don't know he, he's like... driving down 120. No, he's he's on 125. He's on 125. And I think maybe I'm no, not sure he if he's 100. He said we're doing 120. I'm going to go back cuz I'm, I'm wondering if he meant uh, oh, like, listen, no, no, uh, no. Mile, go back, go back cuz yeah, I'm wondering if it was exit 120. That, that mile marker I 120. Think he, he did not I, say 120. All right, let's listen. Let's go back. 40 Mission Gorge. No, hold on. Okay, go yeah. back. Go that, back. Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, northbound 125. Where are you passing? We are passing, uh, where are we passing? We're, we're, we're going 120, Mission Gorge. We're going we're, 120, we're in Mission Gorge. We can't, well, there's no brakes. 
Okay. Gorge, N freeway half mile. I okay, think that's an exit, man. N like freeway half, half mile. Or anything? We're approaching the intersection. We're approaching the intersection. Oh, man. Okay. We're approaching the intersection. Oh, Hold on. Pray. Pray. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hello? You know. Oh, damn! I didn't know this was going to end this way. <laughs> and Woody and. You know, oh I got to go with Woody and Philly oh on the, is the feedback. He goes, and we didn't know ahead of time. He goes, four people died in this crash. Why is it so funny? You know what? It ain't funny. I'm not laughing. I'm saying oh this. I did not was know stupid. it ended with these they guys died. dying. They whole, everyone I really died. I know that. That's terrible. Show me the occupants. I, I want to see pictures. Why? Not not dead. Holy shit. I did not know that ended that way. I want to see. Going 120 miles per hour. We're going 120 miles an hour. We're in trouble. We can't so, no break. So the accelerator goes down yeah. and keeps the accelerating the car. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't just stop on no, where you. They eat. couldn't step on the Shit. brakes. They couldn't do. Shut the fucking thing off. 120 miles an hour towards a dead end. Woody in Philly has uh, all the info on this story. And what about a nice? What happens? It probably flips. Oh, you would what, flip that motherfucker right over. A nice you just cut, turn. Cut the wheel. I <laughs> know you'd be so fucking flipping. It seems like a roll you might live. You know wow, what? Wow, wow. I didn't the know they died. They fuck. So, are we getting ready to see? Wow. Now, I know they died, and that's right, terrible. That? But are we getting ready to send? <laughs> we getting ready to see the end of Toyota in our lifetime? Uh, Well, this isn't know. good. Toyota fucked I mean, up. The car companies in, are in trouble to begin with. They didn't need this. The Toyota guy was like, "Oh, very dishonorable. Uh, we uh, many he, many orders are very difficult to keep up with the order." Shouldn't he be performing Harry Carey at this point? He should throw himself on a samurai sword. And it's a billion of them. We're they like, really, they're probably like, really, four died. Yeah, really. Well, I, who cares? Who cares? That's what they would say. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, right. I, didn't know. I thought there was going to be an okay oh, ending to that brand, story. Brand uh, veered off the road. Holy yeah. shit, I'm depressed. Mark, I'm fucking Mark depressed. Taylor. The end, the end of somebody's life is a, is right a hell there. of a death. That, that was up. it on the 911. <clears throat> Can I tell you, the end of somebody's life I saw that affected me. It, 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 to this day, number one affected me. Ooh. Is the is the guy that um, years ago, and this is why they stopped um live like broadcast on the highway and shit like that he was making a protest for um HMOs against HMOs he had his dog in the car and he had he was in the car and he tried to light himself on fire oh, in protest oh that's never <coughs> a good thing I and remember then that and video. then he he didn't realize he didn't realize how um how uh hot fire was ah. so he he jumps out of the car and he's running around on fire naked the dog dies and he fucking, then he just shoots himself in the head with a shotgun. God and, damn. And, and that shit. I remember that. That affected me. F I don't know why. Yeah, it was brutal. it was just crazy, dude. That's a brutal one. That's him. He was a cop? He was highway patrol. How the fuck is he highway patrol? And he couldn't figure out how and to. And he can't figure out how to stop his fucking car. And he goes 120 miles an hour if he has to. Chasing motherfuckers, yeah, yeah. you know? Well, look, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, no machine is gonna fucking keep running if if it's doing 120. I swear to God, I would reach under and rip every wire out from under the fucking dashboard if that's what it took. He looks like the guy from the Twisted Sister on video. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the father, the father yeah. from Animal House, of course. Yeah, yeah Niedermeyer. Yeah, Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer. Fucking Niedermeyer. Jesus. All right, we're gonna take a break. Uh, we still got the Gary Coleman audio, but we also have uh, Patrice talking about the 67-year-old white guy beating up the black uh, kid. Oh, yeah. Not a kid. On. He was 50. He was a man. He was 50. The guy was 50. Yep. Because he says I'm. Because the the white guy goes, I'm 67. No, no. Yeah, yeah. And the black guy goes, well, I'm 50. No, nah, he wasn't 50. He was, he was I'm kid. almost positive he, he said that. He was a punk. I think he said that in that video. He, maybe this, he was this, isn't, this might be in the top five greatest videos I've ever it's seen. It's fantastic. And you got, all right, let's that, discuss that it a little old bit. beast. Because people yeah. are all over it again that today. old beast. He is a handful of hardened, fucking problems, man. Hardened. There's a lot of gooks with a boot. <laughs> That's what it is. There's a lot of I cockadows. That is Sergeant Barnes, <laughs> Sergeant motherfucker. Sergeant Barnes, if he went home, yeah. that is a. a <laughs> what are you, a homosexual, Taylor? Yes. There's a lot of pregnant.
teenage <laughs> fucking VCs because of that motherfucker right he's, there, man. He's telling that brother, you want reality? <laughs> I am reality. <laughs> Save it for after the break. Holy Save it for fuck after the break. Ass, man. Uh, I'm glad it wasn't me because it would have been me. Take your old ass up the fucking front. I'm going to tell you something. Boom, boom, boom. Damn. <laughs> My career is over. Big Mouth Patrice's face is on the fucking side of the bus. We're Jolly Green Giants with guns. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker yes. was. Save it. Save it for after the break. Well, yeah, I got to take get into it. We got to take leaks. <laughs> uh, Black History Month. Let's see who we're honoring today. Uh, let's see. Op <laughs> oh, you want me to do it that way? All right. We're, uh, we're, we're trying. All right. Let me explain what's going on. We're, we're, we're back. Going. It's the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> and and uh, Sam and Troy and a few of the other guys are in the fishbowl here at Sirius XM. <laughs> and they're in the middle of recording our version of We Are the World. They can't hear us right now, but we're listening into their feed. And yes. what we what we heard during the commercials is just fucking hilarious. Just fabulous. And of course, uh, now that we're live and the feed is in the background. Nothing is going on. That's okay. They're 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 discussing lines. Okay, they're giving. Yeah, All right, let's part. listen in. Bobo lines. Let's see what we get here. Buster's in there. Okay, they're going for a take here. Okay. There's the music, of course, we all know and love. But if you just believe, there's no way we could fall. And now we're gonna right after that, I'm gonna have him go, oops. Whoa! Yeah, oh, that was yeah. Pat, Pat from Minaki. So they can't hear us, by the way. All the stars. I want to say that again, but you heard Big A and Pat from Minaki. We got all the guys uh, together to do the We Are the World. He's got to get his like catchphrase. Yeah. Listen to him practicing. <laughs> what a <laughs> This is fucking gonna be hysterical. And it's gonna sound all big and everything. Yeah. That's it. It's going to be epic. Uh, yeah. Epic. Oh, okay. Fail. Yes. All right, I think but that's epic. All right, they're trying again. Here we right. go. Yes. Big A, right? First. But if you just believe, there's no way we can fall. Whoa. <laughs> This is going to roll. <laughs> what the and the beauty is, is they can't hear us, so no. they're not even like playing it up for the radio. Holy shit. Wait, like, let's exactly the same thing. Oh, jeez. Well, remember, it was so long ago. There <laughs> <laughs> right, you go. There you go. But if you just believe, there's no way we can fall. <laughs> someone says, someone here says, Pat is the world. <laughs> <laughs> Pat is funny, man. He really is. Oh, and they're doing, oh my God, you're making A just do takes like this is a yeah, professional yeah, recording. Yeah, Take four. Yeah. No, in the end, I mean, we're going to have all the outtakes, which will make for really funny radio, and then you're going to hear the finished product that's going to just sound bigger than life. Uh, it's going to be giant, but huge production that. number. What do they got going on? Yeah. Yeah, I saw a few people walking in. It's I've like, heard uh, Bobo's version, yeah. like what Bobo, Bobo did for this. Bobo is was doing it. And we're going to have some, uh, we're going to have this cut up tomorrow and have some outtakes. Because I was just walking down the hall to take okay. a leak. So the next line is going to be Sandy, uh, and she's the one that's going to say, there's a choice we're making. I do that whole one, two, three, four lines. We're saving our own lives. It's true. We'll make a better day, just you and me. Yeah. yeah, it says chorus. We are so let's start giving, and then I'm going to separate it so it's going to be Sadie came by herself, maybe saying, "There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives." It's like he's talking to retards because <laughs> he is. <laughs> he's teaching a retard class. Yeah, a special needs class. Yeah, twenty takes. Yeah, you know what twenty about? fucking yeah. takes. Right here. So yeah, we're going to. Is that Sandy there? Yeah, Sandy K. No. Oh no, I can't wait to hear this crap. Patty's going to be in it. Prime right? time, oh, yeah. Quincy Jones. Patty's going to be in it. Um, I, know, I keep seeing Jim, the celebrities just coming Jimmy's in. Jimmy's going to be doing all his characters. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're going to start a piece. Oh, sure. 
there's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true. We'll make a better day. Just you. Yeah, I'd love to hear the melody of that. We will. <laughs> okay, good. Ass. How does she not know we are the world right. melody? Oh, there's a choice we're That's making. We're saving our own lives. It's true. We'll make a better, day. True, we'll make a better day. Just you and me. Oh. She just yeah, got a voice like she just. She just, just been you chewing and me. Dicks and cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Her whole <laughs> life. Saving <laughs> our own lives. It's true. We'll make a better day. Oh, just you and me. What a waitress. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. Look how into it, too. It's true. We'll make a better day. Just you and me. It's a little bit. I want those yeah. slippers. <laughs> I want those glass yeah. slippers. Yes. They better get her to do that. Okay. After she sings seriously. Okay. It's a little hard. Gosh, she's been through it all. Oh, hasn't she? What is it with Phil Very Spector loud. rape? Rape. Rape. Supposedly Rapey Richard raped. Pryor. She's yeah. claiming. Richard Pryor raped yeah. him? Yeah, we can. And then a trucker, a trucker was raping me, but then it. How about now you make her sing with the fucking yeah. song? Instead she, of trying to she just the did her and, own version. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How does she I not know? Me. She had dicks in her ears for fucking for years. twenty fucking five years. I'm with O and A. Cocks in her ears. Holy shit. I cannot this wait. This is an all-star lineup, Dude, though. This so is an Opie I'm Anthony saying, all-star lineup. When I walked down the hallway to take a leak, I saw the door opening up, and, like, people are coming in. It's like, hey, the stars are here. <laughs> the stars are all showing up for this gala event. Sandy, can you do that in uh, rate minor, please? <laughs> we'll bail on this yeah. in a minute or two. Uh, this is just interesting. Yeah, we'll get yeah. some other things, oh, but then we'll go back. Sen we'll Gary, go back. Can to we it. please we'll back to listen to Gary Coleman? Just don't forget. Yeah, no, yeah. we're not gonna forget. All that Gary Coleman is. Yeah. Killing Sandy me. was singing in the key of C U N T sharp. <laughs> 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 that shouldn't have worked, but it did. That's fine. Boy, you know something. The patience time, of Sam and Troy. Time Sam and oh, Troy have yeah. their hands the full. Fuck, I'd be out of my mind. With you this noticed crew. that too? I was gonna say earlier that that motherfucker Sam is a professional. He's just like here it is. Special needs class. No, you, yeah, yeah, yep. We are the world. We are the children. And Pat from is getting children. that diabetic we tiredness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you he's see, gonna he's have to sit down. Yeah, he's done. He's getting yeah. done. Because he was we good the first the two takes. We make a brighter day. So let's, let's start giving. Yeah, yeah, you got giving. it. This is going to be difficult. Oh, John T. from Virginia. They had a sign for Pat. Leave your egos yeah. at the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Saving our own lives, it's true. We'll make a better day, just oh. you and me. No, you I like her version, though, kind of, though. I like how she did it. Here's the choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true we make a better day. Yeah, you and me. Oh, wait a minute. All right. Wait. We are the children. We are the children. A toodly doodly do. I'm not the toodly do. I'm not a toodly do. A toodly 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 do. <laughs> what are they doing in there right now? We are the world. Oh, here we go. We are the children. Children. We are the ones who make a brighter day. Plus. 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 They gave him the start. They gave him the start. <laughs> of course, oh, if you shit. know anything about this show, oh, Big shit. A can't do ST words, so they gave him oh, that so oh. just, 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 <laughs> That's got they gotta leave shit like that we'll in. It. Yeah, it can't it can't be that too serious. Is good. They're saving all these takes, yeah, so yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. We're gonna have the best of the outtakes tomorrow on the show. Holy fuck is that funny as shit. <laughs> We're just going with this cold right now. They they can't hear us by the way. We're just listening in. 
when Wyclef like just screams out, Gamma yeah! Gamma yeah! <laughs> but you gotta, I want you to really stretch it this time. Gamma yeah! <laughs> Bobo. Bobo. <laughs> Bobo. Bobo. <laughs> Bobo. Holy shit, he does. He sounds like fucking, raping me. <laughs> fucking retard from Goonies. Holy shit. Okay. Holy All shit. Right, let's take the, the rest of the day off and just listen in on this. This is amazing, actually. Yeah, sloth. I love you too, sloth. <laughs> okay, good. Well. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. That. This is a fucking disaster, and I love it. They is a choice of Megan. Megan. Oh, hey, you guys. I was thinking I'd been Costello. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah from the Goonies. Yeah. I know now. I'm sorry. That's great. I listen. You're the one. Yeah. 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 So let's I, I can't. It's like we're listening in on a, uh, an insane oh asylum. This is Bellevue. <laughs> this is fucking. This, <laughs> this is Geraldo's broadcast from Willowbrook. Dude, that, that, that was so perfect when he did with uh, Big Ego. Big Ego. Let's stop. Giving. A giving. That's so perfect. As the music was already <laughs> gone, <laughs> long gone. The place he was supposed to be, long gone. Nice one. Very funny. Actually, they should end that. They should end that with not lying. Listen to Bobo now. Thinks he's the director. Oh. He wants to put his catchphrases in. His artistic integrity. Yeah, his artistic integrity. Gabba ya. You ready? All right. We are the world, we are the children, we are the ones who make a brighter day. But I'm scary. <laughs> For the people just tuning in, we're doing our own version of We Are the World, obviously, with all the, the For Haiti. all the whack jobs that are associated with this radio show. They're recording in the fishbowl right now. They cannot hear us. We're just listening into their feed. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow we're going to have the best of the outtakes, but this is just fun to listen in. <laughs> Bobo will do one. Sandy Kane will say something about big dicks or something. <laughs> you gotta go, ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, eh, eh, eh. Yeah. Uh, there's, no, there's not much of it. How much of the track is left? It's a long ass song, you know? Right. Yeah. There's a lot of fucking. Right. We gotta wait for I guess Jimmy to come back to do his part. Yeah. Zan's gonna do yeah. a yeah. part. A wall, wall, wall. A wall, wall, wall. He's gonna do yeah. a wall, wall, wall. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, that's for the course. Right? <laughs> Steve from Bay Show, the mic is picking up the sounds of Sandy's yeast right, infection yeah, fizzing. Uh, <laughs> fizzing. Give me some, like, uh, a wah, wah, wah. Say, we are the world. A wah, wah, wah. We are, we are the world. We are the world. A wah, wah, wah. We want to go. I, we I want to strangle him. We take everybody separately. Everybody separately because we're Bobo have thinks it's like a real recording session. And be these He's a star. Right, shut up. Let's go to Stryker while they uh, discuss what's next. Stryker. Yes.
Hey, Martin Boy. Uh, hey. You know, uh, when, when this is all over and done, we should yeah. feed the world with Pat and Big A. Big A, yeah. yeah. If it wasn't for Pat and Big A, I don't think people would be starving. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, uh oh, same thing. Quarter after nine, baby. Nice, Your time, baby. That's right. Okay. What? So, should we start? What is she complaining? Where's yeah, she got to go? Like, Suck a dick? <laughs> <laughs> and eat cigarettes? <laughs> and eat dicks <laughs> and cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like a lot of good big dicks in the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Exactly. A little lot of big dicks. All right, we'll fade out of this in a second. I yeah, want, I want yeah. one more. Taste in my mouth. <clears throat> Ugh, one more try at something here. She just sounds like she was building bombs during World War II. <laughs> yeah. Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> um, what was I? I don't think I have a big dick. Bobo, when no. I point to you, give me a. We are the world. We are the. We are the world. <laughs> I'm just listening to this going. I'm I'm the same kind of asshole. I walk in some place with no job <laughs> and no hope and be telling people what it is. These yeah. fucking nobodies are like, this is what's going. They were doing nothing for the last 16 months. Yeah. And now, okay. no, no, idea no, no, man. No. Yeah, like, and this no, is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, a lot of creative oh, stuff. Sandy's now. like, I got to rape it at 9.30. <laughs> 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 a lot of creative discussion going on in this room. It's a gold mine of uh, creativity. People saying we should put this on iTunes. We're going to if we're allowed to. I want to see how much money we can raise for Haiti with this one. Oh, with this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And we'll compare it. it to the uh, the so, real song. There were a lot of big dicks in the world, and we are the world. Oh know, boy, I got to ban someone on this. Yeah, oh, okay. Can you, you know, please there's do a lot of show. big dicks we in the world? We are doing a show. Shut up. We're listening to this. And dicks leave, leave, leave a bad oh, yeah. taste in my mouth. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> big dicks leave it, and small dicks do too. But we gotta go quick. <laughs> we gotta make room. For that. <laughs> okay. Holy I'm laughing for hers. Somebody was annoyed with this, oh, what we're hearing right now. This yeah. is hilarious. I know. Is, it doesn't get better than this. It's just retards in a room. We want to hear one more take, and then we'll move on to some other things. Whoa. We should be starting the music Hello. in a second. Hello. in the house. She... Oh. <laughs> they all got egos. I love it. <laughs> they all got She's, I know. They egos. all got complete egos. They all think they're better yeah, than each other. Than everyone else in the room. Yeah. Shake it. Shake it. Thank you very much. She's I'm a coughing sexy man. up on the microphone. Not, well, I like all men and me. Huh. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. A gang bang in the house. You. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> hey, hey. That's why I, they don't leave a bad taste in my mouth. They never oh, come we anymore. Get it. Hello, there are no dicks anymore. <laughs> but, <laughs> all right. What's going on? Fifty bucks. All right, I'll pay you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pay men now to, to, to blow them. It's terrible. <laughs> I just, she sounded oh, really I serious there. A little stick here. Stick. Dick stick. All right, dick stick in the house. Enough with, with the dick, you fucking old bag. I'm a dick. All right. old hag. That'd be a great book. Just a retired <laughs> pussy, like a pussy that's just done, yeah. finished. Can't. Done. No one yeah, wants yeah, it. Yeah. Not even for free. It's unwanted. Yeah. Oh, someone is suggesting. I'm super safe with Sandy. Uh, Danny, someone is suggesting. I, I, I agree with this. Oh, hold on. I'll tell you a second. There's a lot of big dicks in the world, and I uh, blew a lot of them. And, and I'll tell you, big dicks leave a, a bad taste in my mouth. We are the world. The world. We are the world. Oh, God, what axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I gotta ban someone else. <clears throat> Sorry, dude, you're in the what minority if you don't think this is good radio, and and I don't need to fucking read any of your feedback. <laughs> I don't even care. I know. I want to hear it. Of course. Serious? Fuck the listeners. Hey, uh, <laughs> it is serious satellite up here. Danny, what I was gonna say is, and it's being suggested. I think it's great. You know how they have dead Michael Jackson in in the fucking new version? Oh Jesus! We got to get Tippy Tom in there oh, somehow. Wow. Somehow we got to find a clip that makes <laughs> That's a sense. Great idea. That makes sense where we can put fucking Tippy Tom in there. 
There's got to be some fucking little clip of Tippy Toms. We'll think about it. Something will make sense. Oh, yeah. Maybe, uh, put me on this day! I want to be on this day! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he'll do. Yeah, that's we'll figure it out. And poor Mustard's trying to like. We are the homeless children. <laughs> it's like it's like watching the behind the scenes, right? You know, it's like the behind the scenes uh, video of the first one, where you see Michael Jackson going. I think you should go like. Yeah, we yeah. are the word Shala. <laughs> and then he was voted down by Quincy Jones. That's what's going on now. The creative process. Um, yeah, everybody yeah. gets their own little turn to say what they want to do. What? Here's a choice we're making. Uh, what do you think the most famous line from that song is? Oh, my God. I think... Wait, wait, wait. Listen to this. It be Bruce. That the fuck you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> we are the one. We have the chill. We are the ones who make a brighter day So let's start it on, let's start it on Uh, yeah, mustard. Yeah, that was Mustard. Hey, hey, He's in there now, too? Oh, yeah. yeah. We got we are, mustard is supposed to be in that old man from yeah. fucking Oakland. <laughs> 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 when we're doing, when we're all singing the chorus together, I could be like... But we have that. Hey, this is a, this is an audition for the album you want to do it, Mustard. By the way, I uh, know we're we're working on that. Trust me, it's a nightmare. He came in and record some stuff, and it was ugh. because he because he was drunk again. It looks like we got a sober Mustard today. So we can't have. Should we fade out for now? Uh, yeah, yeah. We, you know. We'll we'll, we'll get clips for tomorrow and tell me what to do. <laughs> Danny, they're also suggesting you just do a tippy time impression for this. We are the one. We have some ideas. That's what's right, missing. We we'll see what we can so do. So other than mustard, who's like the other like actual anchors of talent yeah, that that not like your way. Uh -uh. freaks? Uh, no one. Really, yeah. mustard's the only non-fucking so. freak. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, everybody else is pretty much just. I mean, it would suck if it. Anybody surprised you that somebody was anybody that's uh, Pat from Minaki's voice wasn't that bad. Oh, it was horrid. <laughs> Before he went with the. <laughs> it was horrid. Okay. So let's start. It's true, I got out of there, just you and me. Oh we are the world, we are the world. We are the children, we are the ones who make a brighter day. So let's start giving, let's start giving. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true, I got out of there. Just you and me. We are the ones. We are the children. They could have put them on the remake. So let's yeah. start. Nothing. Should have been on the on the wide cliff one. <clears throat> yeah, yeah this. Uh, wow. You know what? That's you know. Even though you did, did that, us. We got to like spice this song up Oos. with some of those, the, some of that shit. Some clips. Yeah, some clips and stuff. Us. Us. Us has to be in there. <laughs> and other things. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of clips we could throw in. <laughs> People are asking if there's going to be a music video. We're kind of we're going to get some video clips up. It's too. being uh, it's being videotaped the whole thing. Uh, is it? The yeah, whole thing's getting the whole right, thing. Good, good, so yeah. uh and then there's going to have to be a a point where I think we're all in there. Right. All together. Well, with the chorus. Doing the chorus. Yeah. So these are like some of the separate parts, and you're going to see videos of, the you know, who, who you just heard, Sandy Kane and Mustard and them, are in there now, and then another group will come in, yeah. and we'll do that. But then the big gala uh, chorus of where course. everybody's just they're gonna, singing. They're going to work on this for the next week, so. Uh, I just don't want to be next to Sandy Kane. Stronger and Someone is writing, this is the first benefit song sung by idiots who are poorer than those they are singing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Haiti should be doing singing a benefit for these motherfuckers. <laughs> we are the world. There's a choice we're making. Yeah. 
<laughs> We're saving these retards. Fucking <laughs> 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 crawl out of some rubble and sing a song for these poor uh, bastards. Why did we both automatically uh, become a fucking uh, a man, a Nelson Mandela? Yeah, there yeah. is a choice we're yeah. making. There is a choice we're making. <laughs> we're saving our own lives. They're true and make a bad day. A bad you, day. you, me. <laughs> for you and me. <laughs> I turned into fucking like I think immediately I'm, ba I'm either baby African. doc uh, or who's the guy from Uganda? Fucking like Idi Amin. I'm Idi Amin. Idi Amin. Right, right. Idi Amin. <laughs> Here's a choice we're making. All right, listen. Let's go to the phones. Uh, Psycho Bob. Psycho Bob. Good morning, boy. You guys are hey, all man. privileged to be listening in to the creative processes. They you attempt know, to uh, do their own version of uh, We Are the World. And before you get started there, Psycho Bob, I just want to say something. You're going to be able to say, when you hear this completed song, I remember where I was when I heard the, the behind-the-scenes going on. So, uh, yeah, very special day here. Well, I... I think that the Haitians are going to refuse any money that is raised by <laughs> They're not even going to take it. Everyone is suggesting clips. <laughs> They're not even going to take it. That, need, that needs to be uh, put in there. Let's oh, say yeah. hi to Mooney in Texas. Mooney. Morning, O.N.A. Hey. Morning, Patrice. Hey, man. How you doing, Close man? your eyes and listen to Mustard sing. I swear it's Bob Kelly. <laughs> you hear a little Bob we, Kelly in there? Uh, I'm not uh, sure. Are we going to get some dudes in there? We should get Bob Kelly. We'll spice it up with some Jim. Uh, Voss. Um, Jimmy is going to do uh, a bunch of his characters. A bunch of, you know, because we got to have Ted. Ted sing. Yeah, of course, Ted. Uncle Paul. There's a choice we're making, Gregory. Yeah. We need some <laughs> Uncle Paul in there. Uncle Paul singing, you know, the We Are the Children part. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's say hi to Dan in Wyoming. Dan. Hey, guys. Hey, you guys ever notice that Sandy Kane's stupid fucking laugh sounds like the mom of a better off dead Mrs. Smith, Ricky Smith's mom? <laughs> that, is a, that is a reference of the ages. <laughs> of the ages. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Andrew on Long Island. Andrew. Hey, what's going on, boys? Hey. Hey, man. <laughs> you know, I think it'd be pretty good if they had uh, Jimmy do the uh, Caribbean voice. Um, Caribbean Mark Jimmy. Wife, yeah, but... yeah, Caribbean Jimmy. I mean, Jimmy's got a lot of voices uh, uh, yeah, to yeah. doing this uh, in this does. song. Gary in Indianapolis. Yeah, I bet if you got to do a video, you should pay to a still of Tippy Tom getting his colonoscopy and, and like say like dedicated to the memory of Tippy Tom. Well, of course. Yeah, Tippy Tom. I mean, if Danny does a Tippy Tom impression, that would definitely work. But we also got to get actual Tippy Tom audio, like they did with Michael know, Jackson. There. Would, yeah. Is Gray Wolf yeah. around? Maybe a little gray wolf. Oh yeah, is he around? Maybe a little gray wolf. Yeah. We'll have to get in touch with Keith and see if there's any. Uh, yeah, signs of gray wolf. Homeless. Let's go to Brad in yeah. uh, Jersey. Brad. Morning, boys. Hey. We definitely got an auto. We got an auto tune the shit out of this, and it's going to be a hit. I'm telling you. It's gonna be well, great. there'll be there'll be a couple of parts that are uh, auto tuned, and uh, I think they're looking at Big A to be auto tuned. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think it's a Big A uh, phones. So they're loving this. I'm sober, I'm sober, I'm sober. Alright, so we'll just take a, we'll take a run through the course. Guinness, now. And, uh... I mean... Oh, what is what is it? Yeah, 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 sure. What was the word? Who are we, the Steven Singers? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, is that Pat? He just said, what are we, the Steven Singers? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you know, they'd dip them in boiling gold. <laughs> God, what a fortune yeah, yeah. that would be. <laughs> We're only listening to one part they're doing over and over again. I know. Yeah, it's going to take forever. Come right. on. Is this yeah. going to take forever? I go to Sam. Can we have this tomorrow? And he looks at me like, what is wrong with you? It's going to take at least a week. This is a, a real production. And, and he was piece. rushing that. He yeah. was rushing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And people are saying you got to do a little toodly do. Oh, yeah, I'll do some toodly doing. I want to play my little flute. I want a little flutey solo. And then a toodly do. And. That's Mustard refuses to be a fool. No, no, He's no. Not, yeah, yeah. He is not going to no. degrade his talent yeah, for this, the likes of this. There's going to be some toodly doos in there, some usses, and uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff. We're going to do a lot of stuff, and then the pro just producing it, the effects on it. Oh, yeah. it's going to be. It's this is going to be an epic, epic song. Absolutely. People are asking what I'm going to do in this thing. I don't think I have anything. You got to sing in it. I know. I got to figure something out. You got to, yeah.
Give yourself a bell, maybe, or a. I don't know. Fucking, you got it. Uh, you got to sing in the chorus. Maybe at I'll least. do a little Google it. Google it thing. Do it yeah. again. You got to do the chorus do again? at least. All right, then you can do it deal. again. Same deal. I'm not ready. Yeah. No, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, it's right the same, same thing. We've heard yeah, yeah. It's just all right. over and over. The, that was uh, quite enjoyable. Uh, was, <laughs> I thought it was good. I, 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 was gl I was glad we got the full, like, them doing the chorus part, because that was just horrible. I yeah. love it. And they're all in there probably holding one one hand over their headphone, <laughs> you know? Dude, it, yeah, make sure they're on key. It really looks like the We Are the World recording in there because it, it's the fishbowl, which is set up for I real artists. It's, it's great. They got the the mic screens and everything. And it's uh, like I said, it's being videotaped. It's uh, fantastic. Fuck that! I, oh wow, just fantastic. All right, uh, break. Gary Coleman, uh, old guy in the bus beating up the black guy. I, uh, we want Patricia's angle on that. Ian Halpern, I don't know if we have time for him. Maybe we uh, maybe not. Uh, can we book him for tomorrow? Is yeah, that we should get him another Is that okay day. if he does tomorrow there, Danny? Yeah, see if it's okay with him because uh, we got too much to do here still. By the way, this uh, just in the Bronx, the unhealthiest place to live. <laughs> I just saw in New it. York State. Oh my God! Of course, of course it is. I wonder what that's from. Is it the environment or is it crime? It's murder. It is murder. It's got to be murder, uh, knocking down the average. Be, yeah, stress. High blood pressure, fucking stress. Fucking just bad f eating habits and and fucking sleeping in with no heat. Cold. Yeah, so yeah, dying, yeah. In, dying in your sleep dying in the cold. No fucking yep. carbon monoxide poisoning from a barbecue in your room. You think that's going to heat you up? <laughs> and, just, and just basic Puerto Ricanness. <laughs> <laughs> Little just fucking Puerto Ricans around. <laughs> children, <laughs> fucking children falling out of windows uh, like the beginning of the happening. Uh, it's the last. It's the last place where there's a fucking above ground <laughs> subway on planet Earth. Exactly. The only two above ground subways is the fake one in Batman <laughs> and the Bronx. Tear that Bronx, shit man. down, man. Holy shit. Yeah, very unhealthy. <laughs> the uh, Bronx, the most unhealthy place no, in New York. No in shit. In New fucking York entire In all state. of New York. Are you serious? In all of fucking New York. I like that idea. Isn't oh. isn't Love Canal in New York? <laughs> I, yeah, it is. Outside <laughs> Buffalo. Fucking Love why? Canal. Why? Yeah. You it's know, probably I like a healthier to place. I can really know why. <laughs> yeah. Well, why is it the most unhealthy place in, in yeah, the state? I would, I would like to know, like, well, fucking, what, what the uh, criteria is. Well, the boys down the hall could find out. Yeah, let's find out. Yeah, it, it's uh, Love Canal is a healthier place. Apparently, they, I fucking well, drove through that ghost town once. That's scary, huh? All right, we're gonna take a break. Patrice, what are you uh, promoting? Anything? I'm in, I'm in comics next weekend. Comics. Fucking hey, awesome. I'm nice. in New York City. That was comics. the last time I saw you. In comics. comics, so it's been a year. Got some new material. Talk about Haiti for a minute or two. Oh, good. Okay, good. Or three or four. <laughs> right on. So we'll uh, we'll check out uh, Patrice O'Neill at comics next weekend, and I was hoping to go to break with a little more of uh, a listen in on the recording, but they might be taking a yeah, break. Right. Hey, hey, you know something? They need it. From what I just heard, they gave their all, 110%. Oh, oh and, and, and what I love is they're not playing up to the radio because they have no idea that we're listening in. Poor Pat and Pat there must be tired. people dying. Oh, it's time we lend a hand. We're going to be back in just a minute. Yeah. A couple more seconds of this and we'll go to break. Hope you know. With yeah. the soothing sounds yeah, of a yeah. bum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today you got Opie Anthony and Patrice O'Neill. Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Yeah. All right, let's get into this Gary Coleman thing. <laughs> and then the old man on the bus. And maybe we'll squeeze in something else, too, before we get out of here for today. Uh, so Gary Coleman, we've had him on the show. We've had him on over the years, and he finally made a visit to us, uh, I don't know, uh, I think in the summer. Yeah. And he's a miserable, he's a middle, miserable little fella. He, he really certainly is, is, man. And, and we knew that, and we could have poked at him, but we really wanted to get into why he's so miserable, and he gave us some good stuff. He fucking hates Hollywood, he fucking hates his parents, he fucking hates being short. And we had a, we we really got into it with him you in a good he way. He stayed the same size when he was valuably cute. Oh god! And but his face changed but into he, he got all old. old face. Yeah, yeah. And his skin doesn't look good, like Aunt was saying. He's well, had he's, health problems, and uh, I don't know. He's been a security guard. He's an icon. He's, he's missed. He's he's got to be an Gary icon Coleman with no money. Has to be in the top ten all time iconic figures 
What you talking about, Willis? Was massive. That fucking show that was fucking huge. It was promoted like months before it ever came out, and then when it came out, it was just a giant hit. They're like, oh, him and Todd, oh, look at Todd Bridges, kid. Todd Bridges, and then the dead fucking little blonde girl, mm. <laughs> Dana, Dana Plato. Plato. Dana Plato. They yeah. just were famous, dude. Yeah, Mrs. Yeah. Garrett, which who who spinned off, yeah, a show. With which is a gr a big time iconic show and it's in itself, and and Gary Coleman when he was a little kid the first two seasons, but but he was a little kid when he used to do Buck Rogers he oh, he yeah, was yeah. the the kid star of all time without yeah. him Shirley Temple probably neck and neck, and yep. and when he started getting older. And what you talking about? Willis wasn't cute no more. He started getting grown man face. Yeah, yeah. He's sporting, sporting some stubble. <laughs> his piece of shit parents stole his money, and that, and he is nothing worse than being the martyr or what do you call it? The the, the the founder of bad shit being fixed. Yeah, like, yeah. We're gonna make a law. So that this doesn't happen <laughs> to any other, to any to other, other child, you but it fucked. happened to you. That's You're good. fucked. You, but, you know yeah. who got residuals? You know what show made residuals like the big thing? Gilligan's Island. Oof. They fucking, yep. those people get nothing. And they go, D we can't have that. But Gilligan's but we'll Island have, don't give shit. We'll have the Gilligan's Island law. The Gilligan's Island. <laughs> it means that people have to get. All right, so we got the law named after, so we get money. No, no, you no, guys are right. <laughs> but we'll have the Gilligan's Island law. <laughs> Executive order Gilli Gilli Gilligan six oh seven. Dash 12. Let me look into subsection skipper. <laughs> there seems to be a law, section 5, paragraph C, uh, ginger, the ginger motion. <laughs> uh, is, uh... <laughs> So and they just <laughs> fucked the show, but you named it. Yeah, because they have like the Jackie Coogan law. The Professor Bylaws. The fucking Jackie Coogan law was one of those child star laws because Jackie Coogan was a little kid actor. <laughs> Wait a minute, Anthony. And the rest by law. <laughs> and the rest. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest. And the rest. And I give you the and the rest <laughs> subsection three, which states. It says here. We're, we're never going to get to the audio. Sorry, it's all right, but we're never going to get to the audio. So and the and the so rest. True. So true. But <laughs> Gary fucking called him. Uh, His parents, he, he, you know. He got fucked. He yeah. got fucked bad. He's yep. a bitter man, and, and we knew it, but we didn't really poke at him. No. But our oh, listeners. House can get that money robbed because of Gary. Right. Yeah. Our listeners are assholes, though, because I said, look, we didn't really poke fun of them. And Brian L. from Florida writes, assholes, you didn't poke fun at them. You had Sam sing the Different Strokes theme song right to his face. Oh, he didn't care. <laughs> he liked it. He did roll his eyes. So he was on The Insider the other night. And uh, the the uh, I fucking hate this show, but I do watch to hate it. And uh, they went after Gary until fucking Gary couldn't take it anymore. So now it's Gary's problem. That he uh -huh. lost his mind on uh, TV. This is how it went down. You know what? If people would want to believe that I assault my wife at four foot seven and she's five foot six, then they can believe that all day long. I don't care. Well, why don't you flat out deny it then, right here? Because otherwise, everyone's going to look at this and say he's waffling around and he probably did it. I don't waffle. There is no abuse that goes on in my house. I don't waffle. Now, if people believe that I'm waffling, then they can go. Do what they did need you to abuse do. your wife? Did you abuse her? Did you lay your oh, hand on you her? You know what? You can go the same place. Did you lay you your hand on your wife, Gary Coleman? Because she says you did. yourself in the ocean. She says you did. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> I have this on my head because I fell down the stairs. I don't want people thinking that my wife is abusing Why me. Why don't you want to answer the question about whether you abused because your you wife? Go and yourself. everything else. Pardon me? You can go yourself. Really? And quit asking me. Is that me. the way you talk to your wife? Yes. Fuck you, dude. Can Why? I say? Fuck you, cunt. The greatest joke I've heard in the last fucking week. This guy, a friend of mine, Tony Roberts, did a special on Showtime. He goes, every 12 seconds, there's a woman hitting this country. He goes, but they don't tell you every eight seconds, there's a guy saying, bitch, you better get the fuck out of my face. You got four seconds to get the fuck out of my face. Oh, that's brilliant. This cunt is in <laughs> Gary's fucking face. Doing? Leave the little motherfucker alone.
antagonizing them with a violent way. Like, what are like you going to do? Like a prosecutor. She's fucking like a prosecutor. Well, I think she might be one of those lawyer bros. Well, fuck, she's not on then, in court. Yeah, and he doesn't... Did he, you abuse your wife? Is that the way you talk to your wife? Yeah, yeah that's the way I talk yeah, to her when well, she's, she's being, being a, cunt, a cunt like right? you are right now. He, and he doesn't owe her a fucking answer. He doesn't oh. owe her shit. Do you abuse your wife? And everything else. Pardon me? You can go f yourself. Really? Hey, quit asking me. Is that me. the way you talk to your wife? Oh. Yeah, if I have to, if I need to, but I don't. And, and I don't know you, and I don't care about and you. And is this the kind and of your anger life that leads to your physical assault? doesn't matter to me. Let me tell you so what I'm going to do. So if my life is in hell to run the night, or get hit by a bus tonight, hey, 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 I'm hey. not going to care because she's pushing my buttons, and I don't like her now. Sorry, Gary. And the next thing Why I'm going to do tonight? is leave. So f all of you. There you go, Gary. Gary, come back. No, ah, uh, come back. Yeah. The only reason they want him to come Smack back is they want more of that. They want yeah. more of that. You know, bravo to fucking Gary yeah, Coleman. Gary Coleman should have said, "What he, you he, talking he, about, bitch?" He yeah. goes, "I hope you get hit by a bus." God, God bless him. God, God bless him. Gary Coleman. That was after he told phone. it to drown in the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shitty shit. Damn. This is what these shows do. And then they're surprised when someone loses their shit. She antagonized him. We got it's more. Like you, 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 you listen to certain interviews, one, like you know certain things. I know that we all have certain things that stand out. And one of those one time was a uh, Alonzo Mourning, probably ten to fifteen years ago, got a big contract, ninety million dollars, play basketball, and the guy goes, "What are you gonna do with your money?" And I go, in my heart, I go, God damn, I just put myself there. Like, what would I say? Yeah. And Alonzo's like, I'm going to give a million dollars to the fucking children's diabetes. I just want, you know, you go, I'm going to buy a diamond hat <laughs> and a fucking <laughs> island and, with poor people being <laughs> building statues to me. And then I'm going to just throw money in the water. Like, how, how dare you ask me what the <laughs> fuck I'm going to do? God, I wish uh, an athlete would have that answer. Uh, I, would, <laughs> I would fall off the couch laughing. I would be like, right oh, the fucking funny. Funny, man. <laughs> That is good. And then, fucking, I hope you get hit by a bus. Yeah. Like, women think you're not supposed to feel violent towards them when they're being cunts. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> then Gary leaves and the panel reflects on what happens. So let's oh, see. They do. Let's see them reflecting here, or let's listen to them reflecting. We talked about what had just happened. I thought it was almost going to get violent with you, Lisa. I got scared for you. Well, oh, oh God. God. Shut up. I got scared for you. I thought it was going to be violent. Oh, my God. Violent? She was the aggressor. We talked about what had just happened. I thought it was almost going to get violent with you, Lisa. I got scared for you. Well, this is what cross-examination in court is like. And if you have questions that you don't want to answer, you have to hide and hide and obfuscate. And eventually, he couldn't take the heat. He didn't want to answer the question. Well, I tell you what, I'm not an attorney, but I am a mother. And I was ready to put him over my knee and spank him. I'll tell you that. Oh shit, girl! Nisi, Nisi, put him up. First of all, she you know her name, right? I hate Nisi, that broad. Nisi Nash. I she degrades. She yeah. degrades him by uh, implying that she's gonna, you know, put him over her knee like a child. He is a grown man, and, and uh, these fucking there's, there's ways you biatches. get money. There's ways you get money, and it's I, I know Nisi. She's a a nice a, a lot of the girls that real I, I know her mm -hmm. know a couple other ones and there's a way that you get a, a foot in hollywood if you're a black woman yeah and you have to be fucking you have, to, Mama. Do you have to do Mama. you cannot just be a normal like <clears throat> you know that I, I was nervous you have to go Oh shit! You gotta be sassy. It, you, it's no place for you if you ain't going, honey, hun, uh, uh. Like mm -hmm. she can't be normal like this white bitch who can just cross examine. She go, she gotta say something really. I da, my, uh, uh, time out, no. Mm. I da, time out. It would, it would be what you talking about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give me a break. I sure deserve it. It's time I make it to the top, chief. Chief, you better shut up, Chief. Give me a break. I was looking for it. Uh-uh. You better watch out because I'm going to flush you down the toilet and then plunge you back up and flush you again. Oh, oh, oh. Give me a break. 
God damn it, Patrice. <laughs> That's the biggest laugh of the week. Oh, oh, fucking it. It. What that the fuck? Aunt Jemima shit, and she's not that. No. She's on there for... I'm telling you, she's on there. That's the place they have. That is like, yeah, they they need one of those. You need that that bitchy, cunty uh, uh, <coughs> prosecutor white woman. You need the sassy black woman to give the mm -hmm point of view. And where's the dude? This is what I'm saying. On television, there's no dude. There's guys, no. but there's nobody going, what? Yeah, what are you Leave talking that about? Leave motherfucker alone. You were the one giving him shit yeah. the second he sat down. I wanted to knock you in your fucking mouth, yeah. bitch. Oh, he Screaming didn't and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Yeah, what are you in his face? If you stand up, Gary. I am stand up. Oh, oh shit. My bad, sorry, about <laughs> uh, right. sorry about that. All right, Mr. Coleman. Let's, let's listen as they uh, continue continue to reflect. And I was ready to put him over my knee and spank him. Oh. I'll tell you that. And it's very interesting that the one thing he did say was that he was coming on to set the rumors about him straight. And he did nothing but create more rumors. It was heartbreaking. It really yeah. was. That guy, by the way, Patrice, do you watch The Insider? I'm, no, I'm always watching the end. I, I will point it out every fucking time. That's a that's a white dude. He's a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And when the Tiger Woods thing uh, went down, he goes, "Well, I, Tiger Woods owes me an apology." Really? Uh, exactly. Thank you. That's all you need to say. Really? And finally, uh, they get a body language expert on what? Gary Coleman is out of control. He needs a lot of help. To get a deeper perspective on Gary's behavior, we turn to body language expert Dr. Lillian Glass. You, I'm going to say, because my mind, I, I got to say it now. If they want to collude, and I, the, the, the they is vague. Yeah. If they want to collude you into being fucked up, no matter what you do, you can't fight it. No. So the only thing you can do is go, yeah, I'm that. So, Mr. O'Neill, do you like rape? To some degree. Yeah. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> it's tasty. <laughs> it because if I go, man, are you fucking kidding? If you're trying to defend yourself right. reasonably, they'll bring in a body language guy to go, did you see how he raised his finger? Yeah, that means. Did you see what he did? Rapity rape, 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 rape. Yes, man. <laughs> like, they, they can collude and make you sound like you're a yeah. fucking maniac. Gary Coleman now, this sick kid. Yeah. This very weak man mm -hmm. who's scared of women, by the way, because when he when he got in trouble with the uh, hitting that that big black woman who said, you better give me your autograph, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. He he had to protect himself from her and she sued him. But Gary was so weak. And so I, I he goes I and he's embarrassed mm -hmm. to say things like I'm four feet. <laughs> I'm sick. My hands are frail. <laughs> I can't even beat a woman. Yeah. The guy is fucking sad. He should be dead. Yeah. He will. This, this kid, man. He, he will be. This kid. He will 40. be soon, too. I know. He will be so bad for I him. mean, and at the end of the day, you know, that's he's not a woman fucking beater, man. Yeah. Whatever, Patrice. What the fuck is that, Danny? Holy Whose picture shit. That is. That's fucking Dita Von Tees, man. She's yeah. the best. She's good. I didn't think I was into her at first, but she's totally cool. Where are we looking, man? We're on the superficial.com right Fucking now. Fucking superficial.com gets the big plug yeah, today. Dita Von Tees just uh, she in, a, in a life size martini. She does like burlesque stuff. You know, like that old school kind of. So who's I'm she dating? I'm gonna be honest, she's gorgeous. But was I don't she with somebody? She was with Marilyn Manson. For that's a while. right. That's what I thought. Okay. I feel it I wasn't very sure. amazing that um, her in that picture without a like a baseball bat or something inside of her asshole turns you on. Like you still get regular turned on. Like I'm looking at this picture going, it's not enough. I need something. Patrice, what is wrong with you? That's all. I, that's I think that's all, I think that's way better than fucking seeing a baseball bat in some chick's asshole. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm watching that. I love and that. I'm, I wish I could like. The shot is awesome. Can, she's got. She's pouring water over herself. She's topless. She still has the panties on, and she's in an oversized martini glass. That is. I, I understand that's that. Fucking. It, it goes full circle. I you know, like, well, holy all shit, that's great. Less is more. You know what I'm saying? Like it's almost hotter that she's that there's nothing going on. It's it's hotter that she doesn't have a baseball bat in her ass. I was. I have not. <laughs> Not reached the <laughs> circular point of coming back to normality yet. Oh, born. you think it, uh, it, it just comes back? I think so, yeah. I think this is yeah. very close well, back. Get, you get so far away from it that it's like you, you you always want like you want what's furthest away, and like when when you start looking at you know gaping asshole porn, like you almost want to see 
you know, some kind of like tasteful, I, I, tasteful classiness, <laughs> you know, and, that, and all of a sudden that's what it is. I agree with Danny. I think man. I might be coming back because I, I agree saw with Danny. Pro, I saw prolapsed ass, and, <laughs> oh God, and I think I may start going back to Sports <laughs> Illustrated bikini. You might be done. You might be done. She's. Uh, you might have to go back to the minor leagues. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I, might, I might put state <laughs> search on Google. You might have to rehab. You might have to rehab that bad shoulder of yours. <laughs> Where's she come from? Jesus, between. <laughs> I don't know. She came out of nowhere. I never heard of her before. She's she started like dating B seventeen nose art kind of. Yeah, dude. Yeah. She's, she's awesome. Yeah, she she's like 40s, has almost like that old school look. 40s, without paint that without bitch the on the chub. side of my plane. Look, she's you know? a modern. She's definitely like the modern day Betty Page. Yeah, I mean that's her. Yeah, she's, she's got something all about her. Hey, did Sam Kinison really say this? Is Adam from Brooklyn. We're talking about the Gary she's Coleman. Thing. Very glamorous with a baseball bat shoved up her <laughs> pussy. Here she comes down the red carpet with Clark Gable and a prolapsed ass. Yes. <laughs> Steve Martinez with a baseball bat. <laughs> 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 Fabulous. <laughs> uh, going back to the Gary Coleman thing, Adam from Brooklyn writes, I don't believe, uh, did Sam Kinison say this? I don't believe in hitting women, but I understand what turns Mr. Hand into Mr. Fist. <laughs> oh, shit. I know a lot about Sam Kinison. I don't remember him ever saying that line. That's, that's, uh, that's, a, that's I, I, a great I think line. I do remember that one. Uh... Uh, oh, wait, what is this? I don't know if there's a compliment or some shit coming your way, Aunt. Julia right. in Texas. Julia? I don't care. Yes. Hello? Yeah. Hello. Hi. I just wanted to say my husband listens to y'all show all the time, and I don't know who called uh, Nisi now, Gator Mama, but that shit is fucking hilarious. More people need to stand up and talk about black women like that on TV because them bitches do act like fucking That's how they, yeah, that's, that's the only. That was Patrice O'Neill. Yeah, that's the do. only. I'm black women myself. Yeah, but see, that's the only way we, certain people can get a job and look at i don't blame them because that's what the only way they can get a job is to go uh-huh let me tell you something if you watch any tv every black woman on tv that gets a job is a variation of a bitch that goes uh-huh it's <laughs> exactly. a it's either a loud uh-uh like the fucking pine saw lady who goes yeah. oh, you yeah. better clean this up this yeah. mess exactly. Or exactly. a fucking quiet version, like the Popeye's chicken lady who goes, you got to eat some delicious Cajun Spice Popeye. <laughs> it's, it's Aunt Jemima shit, man. I'm going to think about that all day. Telling you, though. Uh, uh, and, well, the white Jemima. guy looks like a complete asshole on uh, TV now. Uh, uh, so. uh, a wack and now we thing. got the black woman look like Aunt Jemima. Yep. So. Yeah. All right, Julia, right on. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, we appreciate you listening, all right? Thank you. We're trying to bring a little more color into this radio show. So. <laughs> it's good to know you're out there. Thank Just don't you. move into my neighborhood. <laughs> All right, Julia. <laughs> Jesus you, You're just a darling nigglet. What's wrong with you motherfuckers? <laughs> and, and get that labia clip. What's the, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you motherfuckers. We don't, mind, we don't mind that they're part of our radio neighborhood. <laughs> yes. We need Nordic labia. <laughs> Nordic. All right, here's the last uh, part of that clip, uh, the body language uh, expert. For Dr. Lillian Glass, you can see the veins in his head pop out yeah, literally he yeah, out of he's anger. Ill. she's pushing my buttons his blood pressure. and i don't like her now the finger point really angry at this point he could have been very dangerous to lisa oh my okay thank right, goodness right, he off. walked off the sets look 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 they are fucking executing him for what for what he didn't do, which they like anything. Yeah. Now they bring in, so you don't say anything. You, you you never say you beat your wife or anything like that. And then they <clears throat> they get a body language expert, whoever the fuck that is, to say that he was being dangerous. Well, what the fuck? The guy walked away. He walked away. How dangerous is but that? But see, women they they don't even want you to think. Uh, oh, God. Like, they don't even want you to think what you want to think. No. Like, it's just like... No. Really, I, let me, they, did the, they started the whole fucking thing. Do you think that men should hit women? No, uh, no but I think that men right. should have the right to think uh, about it. All right, here's, God. here's two guys that, all, that <laughs> yeah. also allegedly hit women. Oh, yeah? Would this bitch act the same way if it was Mike Tyson or even oh, more current, oh, Evander oh. Holyfield? Oh, he stalked this girl? Supposedly. Over, Charlie oh, Sheen. I, I bet you were screaming money, Charlie Sheen about it. Evanda Holyfield supposedly hit his wife over uh, money that they were going to give oh, to a church or something. I laughed about that. That was like, yeah. bitch. But she you, said, we ain't got no money. Would they be that brave, though? 
Hell, I mean, we I all know they, the answer, obviously. I think they would be that brave with Charlie. They would test Charlie. Charles Sheen? Yeah, I think they would. Not a Vander Holyfield, not no, fucking no, Tyson. No. Maybe uh, Holyfield because he has a control level about him, but she certainly wouldn't have did that shit to Tyson. Hell fucking no. Certainly wouldn't have. Uh, I encourage people out there to take a peek at this. The Insider, it's called, on uh, CBS, I think. Uh, just so you could get enraged. Because we talk about it from time to time this show. Mm. They're unbelievable. They really are. Poor Gary Coleman. We're trying to God get him on damn. the phone. It ain't happening. His skin is like he's gray. He looks like an alien now. It's it's you know the grays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they call him grays. Mm -hmm. He's looking like an alien. The, but that's beyond ashy. That is super ashy. And we talked about this earlier. We started the show, but uh, fucking Tiger is making his big statement tomorrow. Well, he, well, he knows he has to say something because basically he's announcing he's <laughs> coming back to golf because he got the Masters coming up. He's he, he's got. Can, can I say his strategy? Really, if we look at it, uh -huh. just hide <laughs> might have worked. It might, he might have pulled almost out. tired. Yeah, the, right. Tired, they tired everybody the, out. They, he he, he waited tired out, out the bullshit. The news hit yep. it over and over and over, and we're wait, waiting for him to pop out or say something. Right and he race. shut up. He waited. Everyone got like, Tiger, what? What? Moved on to something else. Yep. And now he goes, Oh, I'm going to say something. He did a photo op shot yesterday. Brilliant. Yeah. With, with a PR company, he's running with a trainer with his Nike gear on, helping out Nike because they they stood by him there, Patrice. And uh, and they, and he's not taking questions. Mario's he's gonna go. Look, I fucking did this, this, and this. I'm a human being. We're gonna get the I'm the human being. We're also gonna get the uh, I take full responsibility, which means nothing, by the All way. Right. And then he's gonna go. I'm coming back in two weeks or whatever it would be to start playing golf again because he wants to play at, Ag at Augusta. He wants to play in the Augusta. Masters. Augusta. Poor Gary. And you're, I love, I love your point God. of view on that. That he fucking waited everyone out. I didn't and think that strategy was work, but he, I think people you get tired because you get tired. You move on to other things. <laughs> we're, we're into this dumb Olympic thing and 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 other stuff going down. And now. Haiti happened. And Haiti. And all this other stuff. It's like took the him, tired took him thing off the front page. Like, yeah. Not as out the news. What a great strategy that fucking that douche pulled it off. And he doesn't owe me shit. Done. I just want to see him playing again. I'm a golf fan, and I haven't watched yet this year. It's still early in the season, so not much is going on yet. But I don't care. He got 15 more years of golf Tiger. to be great, like too. He yep. got 15 uh, more years. Well, <clears throat> 45. He's 30. What is he? 30? I think he might be 31 or 32 now. Easily 40. Put easily. Jack Nichols, easily. Nicholas is still playing. Uh, sort of, yeah. It's kind of. Yeah. I think Tiger's got a solid 10 left. 42? But the last couple of that 10 might be, he'll win a few, but not as much as he's doing now. 40? 40, what's what's, I would your, say, what's your golf prime? It's it's hard to say. I mean, what's his name? Tom Watson. How old was he when he almost won the British Open last year? How old is the guy that's number, number one now? Well, Tiger is. No, the guy that's number two. Two. I couldn't even name number two, and I'm a golf the fan. Guy, the guy whose wife yeah, is mean, sick. Oh, Phil Mickelson. Hey, well, how old is he? Phil he's Mickelson in his 40s. usually is number two. No, he's uh, he's uh, I the golf fan tell me I, I think he's just a few years older than Tiger. Believe he it, looks fucking old. He looks older, right? I think he's. I would say he's mid thirties. Wow. God damn it! She does hardcore shit, huh? Oh, I. I didn't think so. Is that a dirty hiney though? Oh, it's a and she got a real ugly booty hole too. Somebody, <laughs> there's some that's, that's some a dirt ugly back little there. booty hole. I didn't know there's these. some dirt back there. I like having what would Tyler Durden do as a friend. He sends me really fun stuff. Yeah, that but, is good, but we're fucking man. pissed that he doesn't do our show. But I think Ann nailed it. I think he's got like oh, a man. fucking lame voice. <laughs> nah, just, man, 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 he's great. Him, Fuck him, he's good. <laughs> we want him on the show, though. I know, man. I don't know why he doesn't call. <laughs> no, no, he's good. It's good. It's kind of like the wizard and the wizard of Oz. <laughs> right. Leave him alone. He's behind the curtain. What do you think he sounds like yet? Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> right, exactly. How are you doing? It's Tyler Durden. <laughs> What would Tyler do? Because it's all tough and stuff. He's got the soap. He's Project, looking. Project Mayhem. Project Mayhem. <laughs> and, and that movie is such a heroic movie. Two guys who are lame. It's a lame oh, guy oh, hero wow. movie. You know what, Patrice? I, dude, now let me tell you something. Problems. I know. That, look at. I, I'm willing to take this pressure. Mm -hmm. I saw that movie, mm -hmm. and when I saw it, the first thing I hit, I I I, I leaned back, crossed my arms. I saw the whole thing, and I said, "This did nothing for me." But I think I've run into the holy grail of something white. <laughs> like, I think I, I saw some shit that I didn't supposed to see. <laughs> it's self-hate, guilt, 
the the burden of white guys who can't be men. Well, you know, I'm that's telling good. you the that burden it, of of having to keep up with the Joneses, as they say, and, and the burden of dishonesty, the burden mm -hmm. of having to go to work and say blah blah blah. And so when I say weak, I don't mean like, but it's like. It's this. I understand what Patrice is saying. It's a dream movie. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'm dreaming. I'm a better man. Movie. Right. That's right. what Tyler Durden is. Paula. <laughs> I I agree with Paula. you. It's an imaginary better me. Yeah, I agree with hey. you. Uh, You're right. You weren't supposed to see that, by the way. No. How the fuck did you get in? Dude, I, and one day I said, let me watch Fight Club, because it's like, eh, and I'm like, wait a minute. In the middle of it, why did why it why it's turning into I'm going to destroy the world, and then we find out Tyler Durden is da da da. I go, I, go, I sat there and watched the credits, <laughs> and I said, so, something happened. I, this Revelation. means nothing to me, but I this is, this is absolutely whiteness it's the scar face of white people man <laughs> <laughs> what, what would it be called if it was on the sci-fi channel <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite bits yeah what would fight club be on the sci-fi channel when they do the ripoff movie oh, i don't know that one that would took me off guard yeah it would be like yeah yeah by the way I, split personality bomber big time movie <laughs> i always i say if, you, if you're black you get a hold of uh, fight club to get some uh, white guy insight, white, man. In, inside on white. Unbelievable, man. All right, I cannot, by the way, look at a sci-fi movie title now and not think of Patrice, because it, all all Patrice wanted is they get a story and the title is absolutely what it is. Me and Travis last week we were listening to that bit in the back because we were just we it's brought it up. So it's, it's goddamn hysterical. funny. It's, it's Mega Shark <laughs> versus. <laughs> fucking... I think the first one that came up was uh, Jurassic Park, and then uh, Patrice said if it was on Sci-Fi Network, it would be called Dinosaur Forest. <laughs> 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 it's too goddamn funny. All right, a couple things. The, the Gary Coleman thing because they're saying he was out of control, but he showed self-control when he walked off of the set. He did. A lot of people are commenting about that, but we don't have time to go to the phones right now. And the other thing, to answer your question, uh, Patrice, VJ Singh, great golfer. Uh, supposedly he won 25 tournaments in his 40s. And He's a lot in his of that, 40s, VJ Singh? Oh, fuck yeah. He, he looks 10 years younger than Greg Norman. Uh, I mean, not uh, Greg Norman. Phil Mickelson? Phil Mickelson. And a lot of, well, crack. Uh, uh, crack. Black. Black don't crack. Uh -huh. <laughs> or how about Indian up. don't, brown don't frown, because he's, he's fucking <laughs> Indian. He? He's Indian, right? Yeah. And a lot of them, uh, when he was uh, past uh, past 42 years old, so... So Tiger's got a long way. Can I ask you another question? Why are they trying to bring down further who? a guy Tiger who got no? I went back to Gary Coleman. Oh. Why are they br a guy who has one foot in the afterlife? Yeah, it's why would they do this to Gary? No reason. For, no. Isn't it bigger game than Gary Coleman? This should be. She's yelling at the guy. He looks like a vampire that went out in the sun, <laughs> like and he's you, just he's just starting to burn. Do you? Do he's you, turning into <laughs> ash. Do you think? That they groom some of these people. They go, all right. We're gonna send you after bigger game. Yeah. We're gonna let you hunt ducks first. We're gonna see what you do to Gary Coleman. Oh yeah, yeah. And then probably yeah. Then we'll bring on somebody else and see how you handle them. Because Gary Coleman is the, got to be the easiest target ever. What's he gonna do? He's gonna get upset and yell, and then you're gonna call him dangerous. Mm -hmm. After he walked away from the situation, right. he didn't sit there. He 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 insulted her a lot less than she insulted him. She made accusations on him. And then uh, he walked away. And then they spent time talking about him after he's gone, about what fucking, uh, how dangerous he may have been. <laughs> Get out of here. And we got breaking news, Ant. Oh, is he uh, in the hospital? I hope not. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, completely changing time. gears, but this is worth uh, mentioning. Uh, Logan Field on Twitter. Thank you. Oh, don't know if you talked about this. The Duke rape accuser. Remember? Oh, Remember yeah, that fine yeah, person? Yeah, sure. Uh, arrested for attempted murder and arson. Oh. It's on Drudge right now. So the the chick, I believe so. That, yeah. um, said yeah. she was uh, raped. Yeah. yeah, the Duke raped black her. girl, right? Black uh, like black hooker or something. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I think so. I think it was right. Yeah, I don't know. Shit. Crazy. I think so though. That bitch was crazy. Oh. And we're I gotta leave early today, unfortunately. I mean, if you guys want to continue, that's fine. Where the fuck you going? No, I got you. I, to I do. got a closet guy coming over. Some lame shit. Oh, you leaving yes. for a closet? Guy? I'm coming out of it today. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get Steve out of my fucking closet. <laughs> Don't you have like a fucking maid that can just be there to let him, let the closet guy in? I gotta I gotta take a look. California closets? Right. California closets. And you they did all mine. Are they good? I'm fucking I got what all my shit do? on there. Shelves? I've, I've been able to stack. 
pounds of ammunition nice. on the shelves that they have put Good. in. They make with shelves. nary a fucking, it's like nothing's yeah. like, They design I, the closet for you. I will not, I, you know something, I have it already, I paid for it, so this isn't even an endorsement like for some kind of fucking shit. I, they came in, <clears throat> did all my fucking closets, and they go over it with you. They go, what is this closet going to be for? What is this one for? I'm and I'll say, I need this, 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 and they're fucking, See, they set everything up and it's I, I live fantastic. in the city. I, I gotta figure out where to put all my shit. And they will I, fucking I, hook you I up. I rarely do. I have a place I called really... Jose. <laughs> oh, is that it? Oh, I rarely... One guy and his cousin, who wasn't supposed to be in this country, comes over <laughs> and designs my shit. By the way, I just want to say, I'm endorsing Jose. I rarely do house shit, but I gotta, uh, I gotta figure this shit out today. Uh, we could do a, a, a little they'll, more They'll here. hook you up, though. They, I just can't make it to 11 today. There's no fucking way. I gotta get out of here. But uh, I want to ask Patrice about the, the, the big video going around with the, the fight on the bus. I, I think it's classic. Uh, oh, yeah. It, it's just, I mean, if you haven't seen it yet, where the fuck have you been? But basically, it, it's classic, in Oakland. Classic. It's a black guy sitting across from a white older guy who looks like he the white guy looked like a problem way more than the black guy right off the bat well, in my opinion and when he sat down the gray hair fooled you the it was a lot of things because it was racial too it was like of course. i think the guy said shine my shoes or something and the black guy was talking shit yeah. yeah and then they were going back and forth and the white guy goes i'll whoop your fucking ass or something like that yeah when that guy when the white guy got up 67 years old by the way 67 and supposedly i thought the black guy said well i'm 50 but maybe not he looked like a fuck you know who he looked like huh. he looked like the father from the motorcycle building show Oh, right, oh, right, 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 right. He's yeah, yeah. old, but he looks like he's a problem. He'll kick. I'm very He looks he look, just going ass. off the air because of uh, family problems. Yeah, they you can't know keep what? it together. It's so weird. I, I kind of fell in and out of that show, but like when I stopped watching it, like the son wasn't even working there anymore. Like he yeah, was yeah, trying I to like know. open up like some boutique with he his just chick. Left. It was just like, what, what, why By the way, uh, oh, when you when you do the closets yeah. with the guy, yeah. uh, you might <laughs> want to make some extra room for a slight Canadian girl just in case you get into any trouble. Ooh. See that that way the, the closet's designed uh, just in case you got to slip a girl in the closet. Oh, uh, and remember, put locks on the doors from the inside. Nice. This, you know, there's no way to talk about uh, closets, uh, non faggoty. No matter <laughs> yeah, exactly. what, even though you put guns in there, it's like uh, the design of it. Why do you have right. to go for that though? I want to fucking go. You have okay? to design it with them. You got to go there and then go. Look, how isn't many there a pants? person there though that handles closets? No, you go. Yeah, my girl's oh, there. Oh, and... he's gonna do this. He's gonna go. I have this many pants and shirts and 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 I oh. I need them here and then I need a few drawers yeah, for, what's for some incidentals. With you, Patrice, it's okay that we and then do you walk into your shit? you walk into your closet and all of a sudden <sighs> it's custom made just for you. Not all yeah, of us. I've had it done. It's fantastic. I've had it done, but you gotta I gotta be there. Not all of us can live like an African king. You no, gotta but be I'm there. saying if my like girl you. was there, I do not design my own closet. <laughs> I have men to do that. Right. I'm not. <laughs> see, <laughs> you're fucking Gary Coleman, Mimi. Mimi, Mimi, me. Look, he's you're, pointing. You're he's angry. You see, uh -oh, you're, you're colluding angry. and Coleman uh -oh. in me. I'm not Coleman saying. In I'm saying. Go get the chains. It's one of those things where you go, ah, just build it. But I guess if you. You have Dude, your own personal idea what I you want. I think it's okay to say that I, I want to be there. I, right. I probably don't have to. Right, that's if, what I'm saying. If you want to know the truth, but I do want to be there and check right. it out. I got a lot of shit. What do you got? I got a lot of shit. I throw a lot of shit away. You got away. three pairs of jeans. This is white guy's wardrobe. Three pairs of jeans, uh, two shoes, probably and one shirt. You're about right. Especially when you do mornings, because no one sees you. So a lot of hair gel. You need a hair gel no, section. No fucking a hair, hair gel. gel. You uh, need. What's wrong with you, hair gel? You need the toothbrush that stop. you throw away every week. Stop stereotyping. You know what it is? It's <laughs> fucking. <laughs> uh, what um, else do a uh, white guys are gonna have a lot of? Um, well, uh, uh, golf bags. Two golf bags. Golf bags have to be in there. Two computers that don't work anymore, but you brought new ones, so you don't <laughs> send the old ones out to get fixed. Oh, I'm a mother. I throw all that. F I can't. No. Yeah, yeah. I got to throw that throw shit that out. Throw that shit out. And Steve Stricker is number two in the world. I should have known that. Oh. A little golf fan helping me out. You have an old trophy that you won for something that you can't win it at anymore? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. I got, some, I got some radio awards that I don't display. Exactly. Don't you got some memorabilia boxes. Actually, see. if you walk through my house, there's no fucking hint that I'm even in radio. Oh, wait, a microphone on my fucking uh, desk. It's like an old school microphone I got for Christmas, which I like. A picture of you and Wee's framed. Yeah, that, that's, I got that. Uh, yeah. Very good. Uh, I do have that up, actually. Okay. And I got a picture of me and uh, Sam Kinison. 
You, you have and a nothing. picture of us on uh, Letterman and Leno. That's kind of cool. California closets list. for to come there. I got shit. Oh. Really leave me the fuck alone. All right, fuck it. Go, go get your closets made. Nigga. No, I'm yeah. fucking doing radio with you still. Oh, all right. We're talking about the old man. So then the old man, where were we? Oh, he gets up and I see his, the size of his body. Like, and it, it, it was wasn't, meaty, right? It, it was like solid. Uh, brolic, as my girl was a brolic old brolic, man. Like, I like shoulders. That word. <sighs> and he gets up, but he says Built to the to black battle. guy, please don't fuck with me in, in a, in a worse yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> and the, and the black him. dude fucking man, he kept fucking with him. The guy had left. Now, whether the, the white guy was in the right or wrong in the in the initial shit yeah. was not clear to me, <clears throat> but the black guy was wrong for putting his hands on that man. He put his hands on him and a left straight. Let me tell you something, though. Look this, at this I, motherfucker. I know, look, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to explain something also to, uh, to Patrice here. This is also a bus, and I will tell you something about buses. Black people... Are the master race in a bus? <laughs> White, I, I, I swear to you, you will never. That's fucking crazy. You will never That's see some honesty a right guy, there, though, Patrice. You will never see a white guy kick a black guy's ass on a bus. Buses. You are our domain. See black people. <laughs> yeah, so your domain. Starting with Rosa Parks. That's it. Rosa Parks. Buses Bucks belong to said, us. I'm sitting in this seat, and buses belong to black and people. And I'll be fair. In the video, the only people who are talking <laughs> and looking at the incident. Are black. black man, the first thing you see is the old lady whoa. going, "What's going on whoa. here?" White, white people, people are, are like looking straight ahead. Totally, yep. doodly, They're doodly. not black, fucking black looking people back. Own buses. That oh, except for this, man. except for this motherfucker. That is here. fucking Liberia on wheels, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in Oakland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Oakland. Especially in Oakland. Fuck yeah. <laughs> God damn. Unbelievable. Love it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, all right. So there's still our, uh, you want to play the audio with the hell? Yes. We can walk <laughs> through this with Patrice. Yes. The audio's low. And this guy is older, too. You're right. The black guy's a little older. He says he's 50, I think. Look at the black lady. Well, hold on, hold on. Look at the black lady. And look at the white woman that's right near the incident. She has her headphones on. She's just like, eh. Oh, shit. And he does say a Chinaman can shine that shit. Oh, my God. Look at him get up. I'm 67 years old. You ain't scared me. You ain't scared me. You ain't scared me. Oh, this mother. You ain't scared me. Do you the know? back of his shirt says, I am a motherfucker. Can you, you pause this for a second? Do you know how many fucking now, gun butts oh, oh, Asians please. got under that fucking guy? Just right right to the forehead. Faces. How many pigs were shot? How many rice you know, how many things were blown up? You see the fucking head come apart like that? Holy shit, man. Shit. <laughs> Let's do the whole fucking bus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, trailer. You see his fucking head? What, you fucking homosexual? He was... <laughs> Nothing better than beating up black people on the bus except maybe a piece of pussy or the Indy 500. Man, you crazy, man. You're just a crazy white boy. I gotta be in here with this motherfucker? <laughs> I'm gonna put this long black fucking crawly up in your he ass. If you, junior. if you put, I catch you putting snake repellent on your nigga feet again. I'm a fucking court martial. Well, they court martial me, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's hit him for Manny and Sal. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus, I gotta ask you something else about this video. Now, when they're sitting across from each other, you can't really size up the guy. Now, when that fucking uh, older guy stood up, and, and what was the word your girl uses? It's great. Brolic. Brolic. He's very brolic and a lot taller than the black guy. Yes. At that point, you think the black guy's going, oh, I'm, I'm overmatched, but now feeling the pressure that he has to fucking do something. That he has to continue yeah. to be black. That's what, I, that's sort of Very what I good. want to say yeah. without insulting you. Like, <laughs> like he feels like, oh fuck, I know I'm in trouble, but if I can't back down buses, now. If we lose the buses, we'll lose our foothold. Is what he's <laughs> we, thinking. We've lost. This is what we've lost in in, in our time. Is the way out. When I grew oh, up, we wow. always wanted a way out. Like you go, what motherfucker? You heard me? Yeah, yeah. And get the fuck <laughs> out of there. Yeah, I but, heard you. But why is it escalate? He had a thing where I think they were egging him on and saying, "You gonna let that white man talk?" Young black people are very uh, 
controlled by blackness. Mm -hmm. Me, if a bitch says to me, you gonna just let it? Bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let him. What the fuck is wrong like with you? Today. You gonna help me, ho? If yeah, this yeah, exactly. knocks me out? If this yeah. goes down, what are you gonna do? Shut the fuck up. But this guy, I don't know why he wouldn't stop. This man is an animal. Yeah, yeah, and he moved. He fucking moved. He got up away away and the black guy, the situation. But the yep. black guy thought, the black guy could have sat there and turned to the sisters and go, yeah, they you move, motherfucker. But, but he and realized, kept, and, and kept face just from making the guy move. But there's no way out anymore. Wolf tickets. Wolf tickets were, were, were disposable. Now, mm. you got to get up. This old man got up yep. and moved. Even though he was talking shit, mm -hmm. he fucking moved, Give this guy sort of an out. It's oh, it's an out. He gave him an out. It's a fucking What's out. The, but the black guy felt like, I don't have an out anymore in this society. Check your fire. Check your fire. <laughs> he moved. <laughs> you silly son of... The, that motherfucker... He's a, he's a crusader. <laughs> a crusader. He... The, God, when, a crusader. We're a machine. <laughs> when, uh, when, <laughs> when the machine breaks down, uh, we, we, we break down. <laughs> That's it, baby. Uh, Sean in Atlanta doesn't think this guy's 67. He's 67. He's 67. Because oh, his yeah. hair is dark. He thinks he has a light beard. That's a fucking that solid mother, gray beard. That and, motherfucker. And he might be dying his hair. Who knows? And he's proud to be 67. Oh, right. he, he, he's proud to be him at 67. He blurted 67. that out like... Right. Come, get your ass kicked by uh, a 67 year old. I'm a fucking senior citizen. Let's go back to this now. So now the white guy's at the front of the bus. Uh oh. Alright, pause that shit. Goddamn sisters. Sisters will get you in trouble every time, right, oh, Patrice? Big shit. mouth bitches. Say it again. Say it again. Say it you again. You won't let him say that shit, motherfucker. Say it again. Say it again. First say of all, again. shut your fucking mouth. And now he's getting up and walking back he toward the front of the bus. Like, yeah. oh, because oh, now he has, he has no out. He the sister no out. fucking took away his manhood. And, oh. and now he decides, now I gotta fucking show this motherfucker Keep who's your boss. fucking mouth shut. He said, I'll put a foot in your ass. After he left, yeah. it's just like, you know, let me tell you something. I put myself in this position when I was younger, hero. Mm -hmm. Older, I'm like, sir. <laughs> sir. Sir. I, sir. Hey, you know something, I, sir? Please. Perhaps I, we got off on the wrong please. foot. I, you, I, mu yeah. you must be crazy saying to me, <laughs> shine your shoes. Yeah. I, I, I can't deal with this. This is why I don't like riding the bus. Uh, my my truck is in the shop, and I thought I would just get on to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so yeah. sorry. All right, you're no, right, sir. You're right. Could you back it up? I want to hear the sisters saying, "Say it again. Say, Say it again. again. Say it again." Dude, this guy's an animal, man. Look at his shoulders, man. Look at his forearms. He's got a big battleship tattoo on his chest, I bet. <laughs> oh, what the kind the kind made with with a uh, 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 ink and a pencil, <laughs> and one of the titties is a little floppy. Oh, you fucking say it again, Pinky. There he goes. Now he walks back. Did you see? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, rewind that. Did this, you see him? I love dissecting this. Did by you the way. see him put? Uh, go, keep going, keep going. His sunglasses in his, his pocket. No, he put. This a uh, he black cigarette put it he what black black people I'm telling you dude it, <laughs> just knowing us sure we're very uh stylish with everything <laughs> our violence you know how Anthony shoots his gun hand over black people have to turn a gun sideways, sideways yeah. and bang bang he had to put a cigarette like nigga hold on let me get like, this cigarette nah, see, where it's gonna look nah, like some baby nah, watch, like him, watch, him, watch, watch him watch him watch him put a cigarette in the corner of his mouth. In his man's face, this man is an animal. It ain't worth it, he ain't scared, dude. Get out of there, man. And Oakland is a is a racial divided now, place. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Now, now this motherfucker, oh, he looked at that white guy's eyes. That white guy did he's not fucking not, break that guy's an animal, eyes. man. That and, man's an animal, dude. And this black guy's looking going, I picked the wrong motherfucker to fuck with. So he starts walking back and now. I, and I knew, let me tell you something. He knew that that... I watched it, and this motherfucker, he knew that man was an animal yes. before we all knew. Yes, he knew it. He and knew he it. was being fucking taunted by those bitches in the back and, and his own fucking yeah. stupidity. You also missed the white broad. 
trying to get the bus driver to stop. She wanted yeah, off. Could, could I get off, please? <laughs> like, I don't I, give a shit where the fuck we are. Can you just stop the bus? Can we just get the fucking off? I want off of this bus. Now, he walks away. This is his second opportunity like, right, to not get his ass handed to him. Yep. Second opportunity. Oh, Oh boy! Bing, boom, bing, 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 bing. Good night. In a heap. Look at all the blood too. This guy bled out. Oh my gosh! And he wanted to do some more damage. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he did, sir. We saw it. Look at that guy. He fucking hit me first. He hit me in the face. Yes, he did. Look at all the blood. Damn it! It's just plasma. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. And don't. I'll fuck you up. I'll fuck you up. Stop that. The black guy. No, come on now. No offense, Patrice, but the black guy always has to get the last word in. He is so fucked up. He doesn't even know where he is, and he goes. He's bleeding all over the bus. I'll fuck you up. And he's staggering. He's staggering and bleeding. He goes. I'll fuck you up. I swear to God, I want to find a way. I want to find a way to be on this black dude's side. He's, he's so wrong. Whether he was wrong, he was oh, wrong dude. for touching that old man, and oh. and he got two pieced, as we say, <laughs> with did. a biscuit. He man. doesn't even know his name, but he, he, he knows that he I has to say, "Oh my God, why did don't you he clean did, your blood up first? Then he did. Uh, then the old, the old white dude yeah. did a collar shake on him while he's on the ground and go, "Yeah, yeah, F you hey. motherfucker, I'm a, I'll give you more." Yeah, yeah. You want wow. more? This motherfucker wow. is. You want brutal. more, motherfucker? Wow, is that great? Brutal. I can't yeah. believe. I Can missed you go that back part. to the to the to the One Piece? To I the... missed that part where he goes, "I'll fuck oh, you is up." Is that great? He saw. He is fucking. Right dazed. to the punch. The yeah, punch. Yeah. Dude. He's, He's fucking dazed right. and confused, and he he gets out. I'll fuck you up. Oh, and, the, and, the One Piece. Stop it! Oh, 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 oh God! That was a one round. <laughs> the sister's like, "What the fuck?" That's a one round this fight, man. That's a one-round fight. Yeah. Look at him. He's cowering. He's cowering, bleeding all over. covered and crumbled. He fucking hit me. And did you see how it, how it changed? Like, it was like, at first it was like, motherfucker, motherfucker, right? And, oh, you gonna let us say that? Wait, I want to hear this. Hold on. Did he say next time? Next time. I'll fuck you up. I'll fuck you up. And then they take his groceries. That did not just happen. Look, how did you get your ass kicked on a bus, motherfucker? Now they're going through the guy's shit. No, I don't even know whose shit that is. It's his bag of groceries or some st shit. They stole that homeless mental pieces food. Yeah, I want to hear this black guy. This Look how bloody he is. <laughs> oh shit, is he fucked up? <laughs> that white woman. Wait, wait, wait. Look at this white woman. Get a baby leg. Get a baby leg. But you know what you gotta, you gotta, you gotta love about him? He's holding on to his swagger. Hey, baby. Get the ambulance. Yeah. Get the ambulance. Hey, who the fuck up in here got aspirin? <laughs> it's all cool. Hey, bitch, you? You got Tylenols? <laughs> he's keeping his swagger hey, as bitch. he's bleeding oh. out. Hey, bitch, I want to know if anybody up in this bitch got a napkin. A napkin, you ho? Excuse me. <laughs> Did you see how the video ends, too? Any alcohol? <laughs> the video ends. It's a shot outside the bus, and it just says clean and safe. Clean and, cl clean clean and, and safe. safe. Hey, uh, who the fuck got some paracasine? <laughs> hey, hey, motherfucker, you got, got an anison? <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a headache coming on. I got a sister named Anison. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me Anison. And then somebody give me pills. No, nigga, my sister. <laughs> my sister Anison. Uh, well, where my sister Anderson? Anderson? Call I'm on that bus. while you're at it. <laughs> Somebody will get my older sister Anderson. Oh, shit. Did he get his ass kicked? <laughs> that old guy had a fucking Vietnam flashback. Brother, and that was Charlie. <laughs> there's a lot of oh, spirits flying around because of that man. There's a lot of dead people because of that old guy. Oh, I guarantee yeah. it. That man. guy was probably on a fucking... 
fifty cow Dude, and just cutting people in I, half. I, get, I, some, <laughs> get some, get some, get some, get some. I'll tell you this much too. A little prediction. Yeah, what? Well, the update's going to be that old man is dead. Nah. nah. Oakland, California. Nope. Nah, he's a hero. Uh, black, black people love he's that a old hero. Black people, black people love that guy. Yeah. Black he's people love Look, that old something. white man. I'm learning something. Respect something respect really? That That's a crazy white boy. <laughs> 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 All right. Did you see that <laughs> shit? <laughs> that motherfucker. That two piece. That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what. If you go to black websites and see that, it's nothing but L M A O. Trust me, there's no civil rights movement behind this shit. <laughs> Nigga, uh, somebody get my sister Anderson. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's L-M-A-O-N. <laughs> yeah, yo. All right, motherfucker. <laughs> no, in the good way, though. Oh, God, L-M-A-O-N. <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> I can't believe that shit happened on a bus. <laughs> somebody, somebody get me Anderson. Somebody get me Anderson. He, all I got is Tylenol. No, nigga. My son got to call my sister Anderson. Next time. She's I little A. She's first on my, she's first on my list of phone numbers. I need a Babylon. A Babylon. A Babylon. Fucking the I don't know. You get a new favorite part every time you see it. My you new understand? favorite part is I'll fuck the you up. The swag is there. I'll He's you he up. kept his swag. The cigarette I gets so me now. It's embarrassed. Great. I would have oh. pretended to be dead just to be like the chicks were giggling and shit oh, yeah. because like he got his ass kicked. They watched it happen. They watched him face this old man, thinking, "Oh my God, oh this old man doesn't know who he's fucking <laughs> with." And then the old man <laughs> fucked him up. He gets no more bus pussy. No. Like, <laughs> 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 Ain't no more bus pussy for that oh, motherfucker. Shit. Not only did the black guy get his ass kicked by an old white guy, it was an old white guy with a fanny pack. Let's not forget the fanny He's pack. Not, oh, probably that guy, gook ears in that thing. You know, a gook ear necklace is in there. He collects that man just deserve. He just deserve. I think he needs to meet Obama. Dude, yeah, I think he needs a, to get a, a beer. A beer, a beer with back. Obama. Let me tell you some Obama. <laughs> People are saying there's a part two of the vid a video I saw. It's no big yeah, deal. Yeah, it's, it's just him out in the street. Out in the street. The yeah, the trust and trust stuff. me, that that white guy is not. Matter of fact, black people are going to take pictures with that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, he's him. a celebrity. That's my boy. Damn, that's him. Man. Yeah. That's what you know. did. Uh, all right, I guess that's it. That's fantastic. Did you see the other video we started the show with, the, the cop video? I slapped the shit out the lady. No, I didn't see that. Can we show that? To, I'm sorry, Danny. Can we show that to Patrice before oh, we get out of here? That is funny. It is really fucking. That oh, fucking. Uh, right, yeah. She uh, got, uh, she got uh, exactly on, uh, what was coming Blue to Beers. her. Twitter, yeah. Mm. Sure. She got exactly what was coming to her. <laughs> look, look at this fucking how video. Think, how many think in it's called? Uh, what is it called on YouTube for pe uh, people? Cop uh, slaps teacher really hard. Okay. <laughs> She's doing exactly what of we're course, talking it's about. Some foreign country. Oh, this third world. She smacks him in the face. Knocks his glasses off. He he, he adjusts his glasses. Puts them back in his face. <laughs> He wound up and fucking bitch slapped her open hand, and she can't stop crying. He he said he said read this palm, you gypsy bitch. What's wow. the, what's my horoscope now, ho? <laughs> Fucking Holy shit! <laughs> Read these tea leaves. <laughs> that was fucking great. God damn! Why did we come Read up with that earlier? Pop, you That's fucking awesome. gypsy! <laughs> She's like putting a curse on, <laughs> fucking spitting out in between her fingers. It's thin. Thin. Really? <laughs> Bang. Thin. Smack it up. <laughs> and he gave it a thousand yard stare for a good one second. He looked at her like, "What? You? You just smacked me, uh, bitch?" Fuck. <laughs> Uh, in other <laughs> countries, though, like if that was here, that cop would be fucking oh, fired, done, strung up. finished. In that country, it's just like, yeah, oh, she deserves what does she get? Fucking bitch, go find a wolf man like you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> get some wolf's bane and silver. You. All right. Get in your covered wagon, take your whore daughter, and leave town. <laughs> get in before dark, you Transylvania hoe, slapping me in my face, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey man, you guys can continue. I gotta go, but no, no, Patrice, you're coming back tomorrow, good, right? It's good yeah, about that yeah. time. Patrice yeah. will be here tomorrow. So uh, hell yeah, it. good. But cool. if you're not listening tomorrow, don't forget Patrice will be at Comics here in New York City next uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, probably. Uh, Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. Uh, and Comics is a great club. Uh, I'm oh, gonna 20... go see. What? No. Oh, you fucked it up. It's it shouldn't be Thursday. Okay. Well, that's, that's right. Yeah, that's wrong. Right. It's Friday. Saturday. So it's n yeah. next Friday and Saturday yeah. at Comics here in New York City. Yeah. It's a good comedy club, real good comedy club. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go see. Tom and I'm gonna Green do the, weekend, the show man. with Bobby in, in Atlantic City on the sixth of March. Oh, that's getting close. We I, and ah oh, fuck, I promise I would go see you. Hey, well, be, that's I March sixth, right? Yeah, man, that'd be great. March sixth, we're gonna do the uh, Atlantic City run to yeah. see Patrice and Bobby. We'll we'll promote that a little bit tomorrow. All, All right, guys, guys thank you, sir. This fucking rock today, man. A yeah, lot of fun. I had a piss and, uh, and that damn funny shit. Man. I was able to get a little, uh, a little HD flip action on the We Are the World recording. So oh damn! It'll just be a little taste, a little little teaser. I hope uh, they don't. I'll uh, put it up on my channel. C and D here for no copyright shit. infringement. No fucking shit. <laughs> Who owns this footage? <laughs> Me. All right, guys. Yes. <laughs> hey, man.